All right. Hi, Fred. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Thank chat. This in my Patreon Discord and on Twitter. Fun time, Jersey, Mal, Soda Coma, John Michael, Al of Opix, Cash. What's so bad? We're starting early with Andy Dick tonight. You know what? I'm not engaging in the Dick the Dick scores. Not talking about Andy Dick. What I am talking about is Heronimus. 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 Bosch's Garden Hieronymus. of Earthly Delights. Of course, I'm joined by Fred Knudsen, who has a very good handle on how to pronounce that name. You want you want to do it's it? It's not that hard to say. Do it. It's four syllables. Do it again. Hieronymus Bosch. I hate you so much. My loathing knows no bounds. Bosch. Okay. Uh, he was a painter. I'm glad one of us is having fun. <laughs> He's a painter. Oh, you, don't worry. You're going to start having fun as soon as, uh, as soon as you start looking at this painting. Though, you have seen it already. Interesting fun yes. fact. The, the painting contains a giant hurdy-gurdy, which is the instrument that, does, that yes. Fred plays. And the, the painting was actually featured briefly in his Down the Rabbit Hole video about the instrument. Yes, I actually had to... Um, I specifically looked up the pronunciation of his name so that I wouldn't have people breathing down my neck. See, I went out of my way to avoid learning how to pronounce that. You know? So I could I, get people breathing I'm down my neck. Ruin it. I'm because, here to ruin it. Because, like, I love people breathing down my neck. It's great. You know, it raises the goosebumps. You know, it's a chilling feeling, a little bit erotic. I think it's a good time when people breathe down your neck, you know? Especially if they got a lot of phlegm bu built up. Anyway, I uh, a little bit uh, of back st backstory. <laughs> Bosh! Bosh! His name sounds like, like somebody hacking up phlegm. Bosh! I mean, <laughs> if, if you say it like a Klingon, yes. Bosh! Bosh. KXZ501. Fair back. Third it, it's like thank you for the resub thank you sir i it, it, it's it's like that one video where they're all like oh german is this really brutal language and it's just like everyone's saying like all these words like, like they're saying butterfly and then you get to german and the dude is like schmetterling right because they're going out like, of their way to pronounce it like assholes to drive mm -hmm. home the point that they were trying because to make. like yeah yeah exactly it's like you want you want to speak german is schmetterling like it rolls off of your tongue, and it's like, it can be spoken very beautifully. It's just they're very purposefully not. It's like, you, you know when someone talks about metal that doesn't like growling vocals, and they just kind of go, ah, rah, 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 that's what it sounds like to me, and it's just like, not even a close representation of it, but they're pretending like it is because they're old and white, and they clean the spittle off their chin with their palm. I'm feeling very called out by this right now. Because I've absolutely done that, like, many times, <laughs> that exact thing that you just described. Um, you know, I, I don't think Adolf Hitler did the German language a, a, a lot of favors. I, I think, you know, if you're sitting around, like, watching the History Channel, you know, and you're seeing, like, his angry speeches, you're going to come to the conclusion that, like, German is is not a very attractive language, like, to the human ear. You know, it's not a very... Ima yeah. But of Imagine course, because he's person. an angry screaming asshole you know of course that's not gonna sound pleasant anyone oh god there like there's this wonderful little bit by shell silverstein who's it's you know cute poems right but i, I the think sidewalk the, the ends, best thing right? i've ever yeah yeah the best thing i've ever seen like from him is he had a little bit that said you know a like a beautiful person, if they're ugly on the inside, will always be ugly. But a, a person who's beautiful on the inside, no matter what they look like, will always be beautiful. Will always look beautiful. And like, they have this. Like he has this wonderful illustration of, for all intents and purposes, a very doofy looking person. But he drew them in such a way that they look like genuinely happy. And so it's like this. It's this fun little dissonance that he builds. And it like the person is beautiful even though they look super doofy. Was that Roald Dahl? Good. I don't have to like Shell Silverstein for anything. Oh, it sounds like you just You're got. Right. You, it was Walt Dahl. You just got I'm your just... your neck breathed down. How did it feel? Did you like it as much as I do? I. It's hot. <laughs> I 
hate it. So a little bit uh, of backstory. You know it, it was you, you are correct. It was Roald Dahl. I don't have to like Shel Silverstein for anything. Wonderful. Thank you. I don't know. I liked those books when I was a kid. I liked those those books of like short stories and poems and stuff that where the sidewalk ends and the light in the, <laughs> the light in the attic and all that. I, I mean I don't remember any of it, but I remember liking it. Um, it like it's like it, it's cute, right? Yeah. It's the the reason I don't like Shell Silverstein is be is it has less to do with Shell Silverstein themselves and more to do with like everyone said like the person who knows no, who knows nothing about poetry right is like oh yeah my i i love where the sidewalk ends. Oh, it's oh, one it's of those so it's, it's one of those types of things yeah i get yeah. what you're saying yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah. it's yeah. it's like when someone says my favorite sci-fi like story is star wars uh -huh. uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah star trek is forgivable i i've uh, the, the main reason for that though is my main argument is star wars is not science fiction it's science fantasy but you know it you know that's that's accurate as far as i'm concerned um we got to look at this painting we, there's, we're like fuck 15 minutes in we didn't even look at the painting i wanted to give a little backstory on this i told it the other night or what was it like last yes. week um in 2006 when i was studying abroad i was in spain and i was in madrid and i went to the museum the prado Tons of classical European paintings in this museum, okay? Uh, I came upon Bosch's Garden of Earthly Delights. I have here a very high-resolution copy of this painting. This thing was, like, the size of a fucking wall. I actually have, I have the Wikipedia article open, so I could tell you exactly how big it is. All right, I can't find how, how how big it is. It is a large, a large painting. <laughs> it is a large painting. I don't see dimensions here anywhere in the in this article. But point is, I found this fucking painting. I saw it in one of the rooms, and I immediately went into like Ferris Bueller mode. Remember that scene where the kid stares at the fucking what is it a Monet painting or a Manet painting? Well, Those two very different artists. Impression is it's the names. The I impressionist Monet. dot Mo Monet paintings, is... right? Whatever the fuck. Whoever that was. He stared at that painting and it like zoomed in. I looked at this fucking painting for two hours. Okay. It is a three-part painting, otherwise known as a, a, a triptych. I've come to learn. Yes. I, I think the guy was definitely tripping on something. No <laughs> doubt about this. It's also a very good album by Demon Hunter. Triptych? Yeah. Demon Hunter is like the only good Christian metal band. Do they sound like this? Precisely. Precisely like that. Uh -huh. Except occasionally you get... <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> actually, they never explicitly mention... I, do they? Hold on. I, I think they do, actually. Dotex Chiptune Whatever. pointing out the painting is 87 inches by 153 inches. Thank you for this piece of intel. Just to give you an idea of how big of a, a chonker of a painting this is. This is a big boy. Um, it was painted between 1490 and 1510 by a gentleman going by the name of Aaronimus. I swear to God. That Was that, was that wrong? I'm, I'm going to get up. And walk around for 30 seconds so I don't shout. Let me hear you say it one more time. To what end? So I can attempt to learn it. You got to be patient with me. I'm, I'm, I'm very thick-headed. Hieronymus. Her Hieronymus. Her Bosch. Hieronymus. That is how I learned it. Hieronymus. <laughs> you sure we're not looking at a silent H here? What did they call him for short? Hieronymus. Harry? Harry, you're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard. So this dude, um, they they call him in the Wikipedia <laughs> article an early Netherlandish master. Um, was the wait, wh wh why not call him Dutch? Any reason why they're using the word Netherlandish? Um, probably because like maybe it's because Dutch refers to a modern Netherlands. I don't know. Yeah, you know that. Didn't exist at, the, at that time. 
right? The, Dutch the Netherlands as the, the Netherlands oh. as a, as a nation as we know it is a relatively recent thing, right? It was just a loose collection of cities and and, and stuff like that, right? Oh, we got it. Um, the so this is terminology of the Low Countries. I'm going on a little uh, Wikipedia rabbit hole right now. But it looks like it specifically refers to how low can you go, Fred? All the way down to the references. <laughs> they had a whole <laughs> on the on the Wikipedia page. They had uh, a whole bunch of other uh, European powers that were, uh, you know, claiming through through marriage and war different little chunks of this part of Europe, and it was never really a, a, a consolidated place until, as Static points out, the Dutch Revolution, which yeah, I didn't know was a thing. Apparently, at some point, they said, we all have, like, a common kind of ethnicity, language, let's let's make a country, see how that goes. Uh, it went something like that, where uh, we're obviously given it the, the uh, expedited version. There's a lot that we're missing. Um... Because we do want to get to the painting. Uh, so he he painted this when he was between 40 and 60 years old. Little is known of Bosch's life or intentions. Interpretations of his intent have ranged from an admonition of worldly fleshy indulgence to a dire warning on the perils of life's temptations to an evocation of ultimate sexual joy. The intricacy of its symbolism, particularly that of the central panel, has led to a wide range of scholarly interpretations over the centuries. Uh, more or less, what we're looking at is the left panel representing heaven, the center panel representing earth, and the right panel representing hell or the final judgment, whatever. Uh, it's, uh, it's a real fucking ride. And I want to know, uh, someone in chat last time we looked at this painting said that this guy was on drugs. He was known for being like, you know, like a fucking, I don't know, shroom head or something. I, I actually want to know what kind of drugs that this guy was doing in the 1490s. Like, what drugs did they have? Where was this guy? Them. They had, what did they have? You know, you know the answer to this? I don't, I don't actually, not precisely. They had uh, probably, I mean, what? Like, psilocybin mushrooms were just growing out in the forest right or is that plant native to europe well Was i know it... for a fact that um hallucinogens were used a lot for religious rituals um but that's in christianity in, in europe um pagan uh pagan, pagan religions religion. for okay. the most part See that? but yeah. uh, but like you're seeing especially as Christianity is sort of expanding, you see Christianity taking on tons of other bits of other religions. Right. Making it uh, more... Like, I mean, that's where, that's where all, like, a bunch of our holidays come from. Like, they're secularized Christian holidays that were lifted from pagans. Right. Easter being, like, what? Like, an equinox ritual and, and uh... D d what is, Christmas being... Uh, if you want to learn about how the church did this kind of thing, you can watch my Grim Archives video on the compass. Fred's got a YouTube channel. Check it <laughs> out. We might as well plug uh, it. No, for for real though, um, that's just the first example that comes to mind is everyone's running around in costumes and whipping each other with sticks and having these big battle, like the, in these big fur suits attacking each other. For, yes. For, basically for, 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 for suits? We need uh, for, for suits? Basically, yeah. For suits? Yeah. And they were on drugs, presumably. A drunk. Constantly. This just, just sounds like you are describing like a furry convention, is what it sounds like. It's a little bit, yeah. And then <laughs> and then the Christians came in and they were like, ah, it's too rowdy. And then of course, like the church it was too far away for the church to really enforce heavily. However, so they just kind of said, you know what? Let's rename everything. Throw Santa Claus in there, and then it's good. I shit you not. Saint Nicholas. Like, they basically just said, all right, well, if you have a group of these people, like, we're going to rename your perked into Krampus, and now you have to have Saint Nicholas wandering around with them. And they're like, fuck it. Fine. It's and like then, like, of course, in, in the first years that they were doing that, all of the Krampus would just ditch their Saint Nicholas because the Saint Nicholas was supposed to be the one keeping them under control. It was like making 
Christianity more palatable to people that they were like imposing it on by saying we're going to incorporate like little pieces of your tradition to kind of ease, you know, the blow of what's happening to your culture. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if, yeah, this guy, I, I, guess, I still want to know what, what drugs he was on. I mean, I kind of doubt chat was saying it was potentially opium. I don't know. I don't know if opium refinement was a thing in what would this be would be like the 15th century. That always confuses the fuck out of me, Fred. You say like the fucking 15th century, but you actually mean the 1400s? The reason it took some being, getting used to for right? me. Like because the first up, because like, the, the first century AD is like 0 to 100, but that counts as a century. Obviously. Mm -hmm. It is so it, it kind of created a, a a shift, and then everybody's every time I see that I have to sit there and be like, wait, do I do I add one or minus one to know which fucking century that they're talking about? I I it, it still pisses me off. I never got used to it. It's a, it reminds me of like trying to figure out time zones, which I still suck at too. As you judge, judge, judge five, Fam, back to family. You want to get vored by a giant bipedal worm? Well, you came to the right place because right now we are going to dig in to the Garden of Earthly Delights. Please hold on to your pants because there is some trippy fucking shit in this painting. Some of it I would call nightmare-inducing. It's not an exaggeration. Let's start here. It is beautiful. Let's in start the, with heaven. In the yeah, left panel. That, because it was intended to be should... read left to right. Yeah. Th there's something that I would like to point out. Neither of us are art historians. Like, we're not here to pick apart, like, oh, this is the historical, like, context for this, like, knots. Nah, we're basically going, pretty painting. See, Fred has gotten burned so many times that he has to do constant disclaimers to, like, cover his ass. Like, he doesn't want people coming after him later being like, you've tried to sound like you knew what you were talking about, but you don't know shit. That was actually wise, because that happens to me a lot. I just kind of ignore it when it happens to me, and I'm just like, nah, man, like, I'm right. Listen, we're not art historians. We're not art experts, all right? We just appreciate just fine works of art, okay? We appreciate... That's what we're here to do this time. We especially appreciate, like, weird, crazy, inexplicable shit. And this painting is fucking full of that, okay? So, we're going to start here. Uh, hopefully, the quality isn't being diminished too much for you guys as I zoom in. It shouldn't be. It's um, looking good on the stream for me. What I see on the left here... I've got a castle of uh, meat. It looks like, it, well, the, 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 it's rock on the bottom. But as you move up, it becomes a little bit fleshy. All right, I can see some uh, some geometry happening. I see a sphere with teeth and a hole in it. All right, there's, okay, those are leaves. It was just the color that made me say that, really. Uh, is that a pen? Like a, like a fucking fountain pen? going on uh, uh up there you see that tube with the with the the fucking looks like a, it could be a yeah like a fountain so, pen you see so, that so this is th i actually do have a little bit of context for this potentially and this is my personal interpretation please go on. um you can see that they're like the geometry is surprisingly simple and something that um Something that was kind of understood is that the, the reason that the church advanced science so much is because science was sort of seen as the way to understand God's world, right? Right. Like, it, it is the study of the creation of God. Right. And so this sort of geometric um, styling might be showing, like, a, might be reflecting that, is the beautiful perfection of God's world, while still sort of making it almost impossible, Right. It, it looks, it, it's beautiful. Yes, it's a penis. Congratulations, you discovered it. Um, I, it's funny to hear somebody. Going into the meatus. It's funny. It's funny to, to hear somebody say the Catholic Church kind of getting along with science a little bit, right? But that is a thing that did go on at certain points, is what you're saying right now. And yeah, it, it only science only became a problem when it started conflicting with the Bible. Um, also, right. that, is, that is, that is a, um, and that's a chode. That's a chode. That's a fucking 100%. chode. Um, you can see there's a metis here and emerging from the metis are a bunch of white birds. Look at them go. Bro. No, they're entering. No, my friend, this is, this is. Oh, dude. Like... No, they are going in. Oh, we got bird sounding here. Frugal oh, sounding. Oh, I'm not, I'm not into that. I wanted to say, bro, are we, 
Are we getting You're close not to, the, it. to the fallopian tubes? Bruh, we in the era name is Bosch painting. <laughs> I, I hate it. There's like some I, bird smeg going on here. You may not be into it, but the birds sure are. They, literally. they, they are getting in there. They're getting in there. Something fierce. And it's over here, there seems to be thing. like a kind of a peanut type of a shell. There's like a big, a big like, like fucking, I don't know, uh, like boss bird. You know, this is uh, the, the like the foreman, like the bird foreman on the job. And he's making sure that all the little birds like get into the uh, the big peanut, you know, before quitting time and clock out. Otherwise, they're going to have to pay out overtime or some shit. Look at look at the brush strokes on the chest of that bird. This guy here. Yeah. Looks like uh, Bosch might have uh, struggled with that a little bit, maybe, no? I Not not really, con especially considering, like, the massive size of the painting. You think it's a master stroke from a, ma a stroke of genius from a master stroke as he was stroking his master and he was masturbating? If I say yes... Will I shut up? What does that <laughs> imply? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I always enjoyed the word master stroke. Like, I've never heard somebody say master stroke and didn't think about somebody jerking off. Like, it just, it never happened. How do you know what they're thinking? Master stroke. You, you just assume that everyone thinks exactly the same on, that man. you do. What, you they, just what, they don't? That everyone, that everyone is wandering around thinking, man, I can't wait to get home and sit and slouch in my computer and put my hand down my pants. <laughs> right on my meatus. You mean they don't? Not always. So. Some uh, people. Sta uh, Static was in chat saying that there was... Maybe something to the the idea that this okay, so this flock of birds is coming out of this uh, this cave and then doing a whole like kind of a murmuration type of deal up uh, through James's giant peach and then up further uh, through another ring of leaves and then murmurationing, doing a murmuration off into the into the distance. There, it's I don't, I don't know what the fuck it's, if I'm even using that word the right way, but anyway, well, I love. Um... Something I love is that, so look at the way that um, the birds are flying. Something that I love about painting, about great painters, is mm. the way that they'll lead your eye. I love following the way that these birds are moving, but then as these birds are moving through the structure, you have the opportunity to sort of lead your eye elsewhere, and it's very abrupt. He right? knew what he was doing. Like, as I'm, pointing, I'm pointing at the screen, and you can't fucking see it. But as like just before they go behind the building for the first time, you have that little rectangular block that sends your eye upward to examine the building instead of just following the birds around. And it's then sort of like there's another fucking thing on an angle that's leading your eye up further towards mm -hmm. the top it's, of the tower. It's really interesting, right? It it's, is. Yeah. Every all of it is pointing towards itself, but also like away and out. It. It gives you so many methods to approach the painting. Do you think there's anything to the fact that there are a smattering of uh, white and yellow birds in among the black ones? You think that's... Uh, piss and cum. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to hit that one before you do. That's what I... That's... Man, you know, great minds think alike. No, I'm just trying to stop you before you can he's, go off for too long. He's, pre, he's preempting it. I actually wasn't I'm going there. You. In fact... I think that some of the yellow shades that we're seeing might just be like attempts or, or you know, successful or not attempts at uh, shading and, and, and things like that. Uh, maybe trying to like convey position within the flock. I, I have no idea, but it is interesting to me that he started doing like yellow ones down here. And then as we go up, I see maybe one or two more yellow ones and then they stop being yellow. Like, he just, just like, fuck it. Well, I... You can see that they're... It's... I, I don't think that they're all moving... Like, yeah, this group is moving toward one location, but you have others that are staying in this location specifically. And then you've got other color birds here. Y y you see you see any meaning to this at all? This tower? I mean, so... Here's the thing, right? You can ran out try of to black paint. direct metaphor. Just ran out of black I, paint. Yeah. I, did, <laughs> I, I know that I always got bored getting my degree, and we were like, what does this mean metaphorically? It's like, oh, well, it means exactly this. It's like, that's boring. Well, you have no way of knowing for sure. 
right? Yeah, it's it doesn't necessarily like one thing does not always explicitly mean another thing, right? Mm -hmm. It might suggest another thing, but it might be suggesting a few other things, and then the interplay of those things within the metaphor um, it's not are much more worth... interesting than just saying this represents a penis. It's not Freud was <laughs> like <laughs> Freud like wished he was a like literature major. It's almost like it's not worth sitting here trying to fucking figure out like if any of this actually means anything. It's kind of like might might even be defeating the purpose a little bit, right? Yeah, it's like sometimes I, I I think that people get really caught up in authorial intent. Don't do that. Authorial intent doesn't matter. It's so something like as we start looking at more of this, you're starting to sort of see the theming of there are bits and pieces of everything you can see off and on the right the branch that's moving through the two discs yeah it, it it looks like it's been sliced off of it yeah and I, that might be to suggest that this is a garden not only on the small scale but it's tended to on the large scale as well by god I just, I just think of i just think of you know taking care of like my parents garden helping them when i was younger and that particular cut it's right? been it pruned. is very indicative of, you know, you're actually tending to a plant. Somebody cut but that it's shit. On a macro scale, right? Like the suggestion is that that is a very large object. So I, I think the suggestion here is God is not just tending to the small things. He's tending to the large things as well. And in a perfect world, like in, in our perfect heaven, that's how it's supposed to be. Well, I was always under the impression that he stayed in in heaven because he was afraid of what he'd created. <laughs> so I don't see him coming down here with a fucking, you know, massive pair of, like, uh, clipping shears or, or whatever anytime soon. Out of the way, Hieronymus Bosch. Spy Kids 2 just deposed your work of art. <laughs> Uh, no, man. Uh, I think he'd be a little bit too terrified to tend the garden, man. You know, he finds out that women are, are putting wasp nest paste in their vaginas, and he's like, you know what, man? I'm gonna just have a lazy day up here. I'm gonna hang out. You know what? Let the weeds fucking grow wild. Who gives a shit? Did you, did you ever see that really funny short film by Oath Studios? Oh, uh, uh yeah, Chirpy. About, with God? I... Why would you remind me of that? What's the I'm sorry, what is it? <laughs> Ross, the, the boss, he fell back to the family. Thank you. Sorry, good. Yeah, boy. Oh, do you think thumb people from Spy Kids 2 got... I was... What was I saying about... I said that, like, someone was saying... Oh, right. Someone said that someone looked like a thumb, and I said, like, hold them thumb thumbs. Okay. i never seen this movie, so... I... You've never seen the original Spy Kids? No. Oh. I don't remember it, it. Maybe it's fun. It's fun. I'll put it that way. Um, You're talking about a short film. I fucking say you yeah. fucking like. Okay, yes. So the whole the whole conceit is God is this very well-to-do man with a butler, and he's he's got his feet up on the table, but the table is actually the world, and there are little humans jumping around in it on his giant and feet. They they create fire, and he's just like, what? They're not supposed to have fire for another couple tens of thousands of years. Go ahead and put it out. So, you know, like the butler goes and sprays water on it and puts it out. Like he causes rain to fall and he's and God is like, I'll have to reduce their brain size again. How long is the, the movie? It's like four minutes. Let me look it up. Here's what I'm thinking. How, how, I... Hieronymus Her Bosch um, was just smoking like a fat fucking blunt. Was fucking Foreman. blitzed out of his mind. Just fucking... Th this dude was was high as fuck. And he was just craving Oreos. He was like, shit, man. I want Oreos so fucking bad. But Oreos aren't going to be invented for like another fucking, what, like 600 years? So, he just painted this as a way to kind of let everybody know, like, how much he was craving that, or, like, an ice cream sandwich. He was have you prophesizing o Oreos, Player Zero. Have you ever gone camping before? I've never been camping. 
Uh, no, okay. I don't. I don't like being outside, and I don't like bugs. Okay. I well, some people in chat might <laughs> empathize with this. Then, yeah. how about that? Um, <laughs> when you go camping, sometimes, especially in um, the Pacific Northwest, you'll see like it takes a very long time for anything to rot up here, and so you see. Um, logs that are rotting in a very particular way and sometimes they get this sort of texture they they sort of break up into blocks that almost look like you could chomp down on them and it's just like if that tasted it's one of those th it's one of those little kid thoughts where it's like <laughs> if that tasted good it sure would taste good it, it looks oh, like it's fuck. good you want to fucking yomp on some Duraflame logs? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Basically. <laughs> yomp on a fucking... Wax. Dude, I fucking... This, one of my friends has, like, a, a, a fire pit, and we made, made like, a bonfire in the in the backyard, and I, I then we had a fucking the Duraflame log, and it, I wanted to fucking eat it, and that was last year. <laughs> so, like... Those are not wood. Did they're like... That? It's like a giant brownie. It's a giant, delicious brownie. My dad in the winter would sometimes the like chocolate. cut them in half, and he'd like only he'd only chop them part way through and then just pull them apart, and it looked very brownyish. Yeah, dude. It also looks like hash if you've ever seen hash in person, which coincidentally might have been what Bosch was smoking when he created this. Uh, what do you even think this this this, this is? It's. Piss volcano. I, I think the I, I think the idea. Piss volcano. I'm going piss volcano. Sure. Sorry. Right. What do you think the the idea is? That that's not piss volcano. Something something not as fun. But go ahead. I think. I I think also what he's what he's speaking to a little bit. God damn it. <laughs> What he's speaking to a little bit here is he's suggesting mountains and hills, but in a way more beautiful than we would conceptualize normally. Yeah. Um, like unfamiliar yet familiar. Someone in, in uh, Donkey Spittle is saying it looks like a fish carcass. Um, you know what I actually thought of? You know the spots mm. on a on a whale shark? Yes. You see in that, and then it's got kind yeah, of the yeah. shape a little bit, or where it might might be like the. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that too. And it's also. It almost looks like its mouth is open. You can see its jaws like wide open. With all the it looks canaries, more like a humpback si whale sitting at that inside point. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a cave. Now. I see a bunch of like little doves or something hanging out at the mouth of the cave. But then check out, this. Up near the mouth of the cave, potentially a a bird of prey. Just that nerd. A raptor. It could be a nerd, or it could be somebody <laughs> looking to feast on the flesh of the unsuspecting. Dangerous rhythm. Free back to the family. Thank you for two months of support. Hope you're enjoying the the Bosch bullshit. But the Bosch shit. We're just Bosch shitting. We're just shooting the shit about Bosch over here. Thanks. I hate it. And then as we move down... Um, I'm not, I'm, and uh, do you want to do the, uh, the Pokemans first? I mean, there's Pokemans, like, all over this bitch. Actually, Something. most of these fellas are looking pretty, pretty traditional, right? Um, we got an elephant here, uh, being, being ridden by, uh, a monkey, I guess. A little bit of an early type of a, uh, you know, fucking video game character mascot duo, you know? Move over, Banjo-Kazooie. We have... Stampy and bananas. Stampy and bananas. Dude, think about it. Action platformer. The fucking elephant can throw the monkey with his trunk to reach, like, high up, like, fuck platforms and shit. To get items and shit, because it's a collectathon. Stampy and bananas. I don't like the name bananas, though. That was because, like, I couldn't, I couldn't think of, like, another... Like, can we get, like, a more fun, like, monkey name? I'm. Here's so I. Stink I, I, I'm sorry. Stink, I, I, I've sort of got Stampy and Stink Finger. There. Thank God. <laughs> I I don't know if you're familiar with this fact. What? I I guess that he, they must have gotten better reference drawings before, but 
I, I am very impressed with his drawing of a giraffe and an elephant because it's unlikely he ever saw them in his lifetime. There's a really funny bit of European artistic history. People would go abroad, especially to Africa. They see these, they, they'd see these amazing animals and they would come back, but, but they wouldn't be artists. They'd come back and they would describe them. And then painters would try to paint them based on that is a giraffe penis. I'm sorry, were you were saying something? Please continue. No, I I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hold, oh, hold on a second. Do giraffe penises just look like regular old human uncircumcised penises? <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil hates. <laughs> Man, he doesn't look happy about that though, does he? He did just get Resident Evil 8 tattooed on his <laughs> foreskin. Yeah, probably was quite painful, brother. Um, yeah, he looks pretty pissed. <laughs> um, but your the point that you were making is you had Renaissance painters, uh, or, or you know, maybe pre-Renaissance painters in Europe who never would have seen a fucking giraffe or an elephant. Probably he's recreating this maybe from other people's images that they, that they painted, or um. You know, maybe maybe even like here's what a giraffe kind of looks like, which yeah. The I mean, if, if you actually look, the, look up what um he didn't do that good of a Middle job Ages, here. If you look at what Middle Ages drawings of exotic animals w looked like, they're just so funny. Hager Travim says he literally copied the giraffe from a book for Batum. I don't know if that's confirmed, but wouldn't surprise me. Because, right, the odds that somebody had brought these animals to Europe at, at that time and he would have had the opportunity to see it is so low. Um, and the, He probably would have had to copy them from another book. The, the odds that he'd been to Africa aren't, aren't, aren't very good either. Um, yep. But, yeah, what else we got? We got a... Um, so there's something actually um, go east and then a little bit north. Okay. Uh, um, there is something very interesting to me. Are we here? There is predation. There is predation. All right, now that a lot of people like to conceptualize that, like in the Garden of Eden, there was no killing, but obviously Hieronymus Bosch did not ascribe to that. It, I don't, I don't know how modern of an idea that is. It sounds silly to me. Um, it's like an otter lion. It is. We're ready to grab Ethicarian. I I just thought it was an interesting detail. That uh, can you can you go back to that that floor's face? Just just the face. I can't hear you if you're talking. Are you? I just unmuted the screen. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So I mean, Bosch was a, a big fan of uh, you know creating what they call fake Amon or or, or uh, faux Kamon, right? Like his own poke Pokemon. <laughs> I think that's good. Um, I'm gonna put the classical music back on. Uh, yeah, you were still trying to look at this business. Go ahead. No, I, I just wanted you to zoom in on the Boris face, like just the Boris <laughs> face for a minute. <laughs> If someone wanted a new Twitter icon, there you go. Oh, dude, how many of these feral hogs do you think there are? At least 30 to 35 to, to 50? At least 30 to 50. At least 30 to 50 feral hogs in this painting? No, no more than I could kill with my rifle in three to five minutes anyway. I mean, look at these strong nipples, too. <laughs> yeah, ready. All right, though, those babies are ready to feed. Suckle at the supple Borti. Can we talk about this Pokemon who is, like... Is he breathing fire? He's breathing something he's definitely shooting uh, a beam i mean what what move is this guys is this like any tm that you that you recognize this is shit spew shit spew 
Weaseldorf, you shit spew. Weaseldorf, Weaseldorf. And then just a fucking torrent of shit sprays from the weasel's mouth. <laughs> even even in heaven, Mike Rowe can't help himself. <laughs> Dude, it, it's a lizard, but it's it's like a fucking weasel. Like like look, look at, at its toes. Yeah, like, that ain't look at, look, th at, those, look look at those fingers. It's not mammal toes. It's not those are not mammal like beans, you know what I mean? Like these these are these are reptilian claws. It's like a salamence and a, and like a a young goose like had some had a baby type of a thing, right? It's like a salazzle. Sick today. It's like a less sexy salazzle. Not that salazzle is sexy. Is this a jackalope? Those are not rabbit I think ears. It is. Those are not rabbit ears. Those are like You're antelope correct. antelope horns. Right? Oh god, that does look like Salazzle. Oh, why is this Pokemon trying to seduce me? What the fuck? <laughs> Fred's never seen a Salazzle. There's so much porn. <laughs> yeah, I just Google image search Salazzle. He just put Salazzle. He didn't put like Salazzle porn, Salazzle R34. He just put the word Salazzle and got inundated with porn. There's a little wholesome comic. Uh, somebody should have warned him not to do that. I feel like it should have been me, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't paying attention. Fred, I'm sorry. God. There, there, yep. There's the Pokemon lizard with tits. Yep. There it is. Yep. 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 I thought they, they looked yep. at the Pokemon. Yep. They said, you know what would improve it? Breasticles. Yeah. Um, Salazzle strikes me as one of the more fan service uh Pokemon. You know, uh, Game Freak knowing, you know, who they're selling games to and, you know, taking you know uh, advantage of it and, and, and stuff salazzle is um salazzy you know and that's uh, and that's and that's deliberate that's very deliberate um the red health district uh donkey spittle says tell fred salazzle canonically fucks humans what is it in the pokedex excuse me what's in the pokedex salazzle no, I need. Salazzle I, looks like she'd be smoking cigarettes and just like. I you can't. Know. I can't enjoy Hieronymus Bosch until I understand whether or not that's true. Giving you the bedroom eyes and just stroking you, stroking your it, chest. It is in the Pokedex. All right, Bulbapedia. With the tips let's of go. her fingers sounding like Marge's sister. One of Marge's. Mar they're her sis they're her sisters, right? Salazzle. Let me give you the old salazzle. Oh. Let me take you for a ride on the salazzle coaster. All the boys want to ride on the salazzle. I'm going to stop this now. Um, I'm trying not to listen. This is like a lion who got a, who got a haircut. This is like Simba, like in the fucking, you know, like the time passage montage with Hakuna Matata. When he's like, it, b between being a baby, but being like a grown up lion, when they're like walking along that fucking tree trunk. Remember that? Yes. And there's like three phases of him becoming an adult. This is the one in the middle. Maduka, Maguka. So you're saying it's surprising because there wouldn't have been any predation in. Well, uh, some people, some people consider like, oh, in the Garden of Eden, nothing had to eat each other. But clearly, like, Hieronymus Bosch is more go is going toward the idea of like everything is made as it is supposed to be. I mean, it, it's um very like what's the word I'm looking for? It's human centric. If you're a lion and you can't hunt and kill things, or there's no reason for you to do it, would that not at all be heaven for you? Wouldn't that suck? If you were a lion, which is like but, built to fucking, you know, predate, you know, you'd be like, well, here I am. Oh, I was a good lion my whole life. I guess whatever. And, you know, now uh, time to go hunt. Oh, you mean like we don't have to eat here? So there's no reason for me to hunt. And I'm actually like probably not allowed to kill somebody in heaven. I feel like if you fuck kill somebody in heaven, you get you get in the boot. No, Usul, we are currently in the leftmost part of the triptych. Like oh, let this me, is heaven. Let me Th this zoom, yeah, part let me zoom represents out. heaven. Let me zoom out See? for you. We're in the left. Yeah, we're we're in heaven right now. Um, of course, 
that building is or that fountain that yeah, fountain gotta, is beautiful we've got to get I, to that fountain do you see anything uh oh that uh, freudian let's use the word about this do you see that, anything sexually suggestive about this fountain ball lol somebody in chat said it was looking <laughs> a little bit vaginal yonic um, do you got Yonic. You know, are these like maybe maybe this is like a fucking uterus, like right with the with the fucking like the the uterine boys like on the side. What do you call those boys? Oh, um, ovum. The ovum. Ovaries. Ovaries. Thank you. Ovaries. I knew that word. Ovum is singular. I think over. Is it? Right. Uh, and you got your fallopian tubes, bro. We in a have... we in a a Bosch painting again. I could see it being vaginal. The color. The color is not helping at all, is it? It's, it's just very light. Well, uh, one thing that we need to consider is that um, the colors have likely faded. Hood, hood. Hood. Uh. Also, did you see the bear in the background trying to seduce you? They got a salazzle up here. You talking about the pole dancing teddy bear? The pole dancing <laughs> bear, yeah. Look at that thing. That thing is... Rubbing its junk all over it. Yeah, he he's trying to make it rain up in here. You think it's gonna work? Uh, I, chat, I, is I, this I... working? You know what kind of bear this is, Fred? A fursuit or a pole or a bear? Because it's a pole dancing polar. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. He la he's leaving. He's not gonna. I'm, I'm doing the rest Fuck. of this. I'm doing the rest of this stream by myself. I'm doing the rest of this stream by myself. <laughs> Fred? Nah, he's not. He's not coming back. Nah, he's not coming back. Bittersweet Devil says, "Why did that make me laugh? Because you come to this channel because you enjoy lowest common denominator humor." This fucking bear. Fred? Fred? Do you think that this bear performs at the strip cub? Fred? I said, do you think this bear performs at the strip cub? Is this really what I put my headset back on for? I heard you <laughs> yelling for me. Yeah. I put my headset on so I can hear that. Oh, it's fuck. Like, yeah. It's like... It's like, you, you know that you know that bit from the Eric Andre show where he's like, hey, Eric, bitch. <laughs> That's what I feel like has just happened to me. Well, I'm going to cheer you up now because we have something fucking awesome unicorn over here um now there's like your standard run-of-the-mill unicorn right so i guess the tradition of unicorns is pretty motherfucking old right um now he got he took it a step further though he didn't just make a unicorn he came up with his own fucking pokemans again and he made another fuck like an antelope unicorn that's yeah. got that's got like i don't know like christmas lights on its horn I bet Santa I, Claus really could have used one, one of those instead of fucking, like, basic bitch, like, bottom tier, fuck Rudolph, right? The whole fucking antler is just loaded with lights. And they're not red, which makes no sense. That would just be, like, fuck landing strip. Like, that has, there's a lot of juice in those lights. There's also... Suckle on them. Look at this. This is the second time I've used the word suckle this stream, and I'm unhappy with myself. Suckle. There's also a, a Pokemans over here that's like a rhino, but also um, a horse. You see, he's got like a nose horn, but he's still totally a horse, kind of. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sorry. What's 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 this? That. Fucking uh, fucking you what, mate? It's you like what, a mate? Massive... Oh, Capybara? It looks like a wombat. A wombat with like a little like anteater snout. One. Yeah. Yeah, he uh he had fun like coming up with like stupid animals. Like I really appreciate that. I can find you notebooks of mine from, you know, when I was in grade school 
where I would just do this exact thing. Like, I'd sit there and just doodle, like, fuck, made-up creatures and just dumb fantasy creatures and shit. Like, while the teacher was trying to, like, teach me fucking math, which is why, to this day, I cannot do basic subtraction. It's, um, people are saying it might be a tapir. A tapir. Do tapir get that large? Are there large varieties of tapir? He's a chonker. Chonker taper. Hmm. A thick taper. He does not taper off at the ends. Uh, that was, like, definitely something I, should, I, mean, I, I shouldn't have said I'm out loud. I'm finish making my tea. He's going to take, like, a couple of fucking right. shots of whiskey so he can get through this. <laughs> I actually don't have any more whiskey. I get like I wasn't drinking it, so I just gave it away to my brother and his wife. Is this a bird of paradise or a bird with like a prehensile tail? Cause bird with prehensile tail sounds really fun. Alright, we got some duck action. We got some storks. Alright. At the base of the fountain, it looks like there's a bunch of trash, uh, including, like, some discarded bongs. And what I see is these birds taking, like, massive bong rips. Perhaps Galarian wheezing is, is in this pile. Uh, Lol Dog says, I think those are gems. So this is... Tra oh, yeah, pearls and gems. It's not garbage. I apologize. Okay, so it's it's gems and it's bongs. The whole fucking thing is a bong. Chancellor of Lights, the whole thing is a bong. Oh my fucking god. Aaron Nymus Bosch was like a fucking frat kid. Holy shit. He was just a fucking frat boy taking bong rips. And commi art commissions from the Catholic Church. Fred, you back? I heard, like, the microphone. I heard, like, a little... So there you go, folks. You've got... You've got lady parts. You've got the... The o the ovus. The ovum. The fallopian tubes. you got the ovaries. And you got it the hooters. Is. you got the hooters as well. I'm back, by the way. Yeah, it's. It almost feels dreamlike, right? Like maybe. There's a point where you just sit back and enjoy it. Right now, we're getting like super detailed. Oh, I've it. I've done that for hours with this painting. Now I'm get. I just want to. I just want to be stupid now. <laughs> um, Fred. Mm -hmm. I noticed that in the pile of gems, I thought it was garbage initially at the base of the fountain. Um, there's a bunch of gems and pearls, but there's also uh bongs. I'm seeing bongs here. And then, oh, yeah. He was high out of his mind. Thank you. I thank don't... you. This guy... And then somebody in chat pointed out that this entire fountain might be like a, a bong. Dude, why else does it have a fucking hole in it, dude? That's the thumb hole. <laughs> That's the fucking thumb hole. Or what do they call it? What's the word for that on a bong? I don't know. The fucking... Uh, God, there's a word for that. Chat, anybody in, anybody in chat? A pothead. The carb. So to call him, absolutely the carb. That's the carb. But this fucking, this pothead, he let an owl get into his carb. The, the meatus. <laughs> Dude, if somebody doesn't fucking make and sell like bong, bosh bongs, they should totally start doing that because I think there's a market for it. There absolutely is. Dude, bong you understand bong how, like... You you go into like the comics industry or like, f like your media. You know you have people. You know they'll smoke weed sometimes. Yeah. The fine artists are fucking like on cocaine and heroin. They just like, have like IV drips of like every drug known to man. Is what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Like if <sighs> I don't know, I don't care what you say. Bosch definitely fucking did. I'm saying he was just like a fucking stoner, like frat dude. Who maybe like got you know he he coasted by doing commissions for like the Catholic Church once once in a while. I say if he was alive today, he'd be like a fucking Tumblr artist, or he would have been since 
tumble through. Actually, there's a lot of female presenting nipples in the in, in this painting. Um, I don't know if he would have. I, I don't. I don't know if he would have thrived on, on Tumblr now that now that I think yeah, about it. Yeah. But by the and way, actually, I, actually, you know what? Just for just for your own safety as a streamer, maybe you should kick a dog to make sure that you stay on. Oh, uh, to, make, to balance out like the nipples that, yeah. that that's going to yeah, be in this yeah, in this yeah. painting tonight. I mean, to yeah. me, it's like I I feel like this is a this is a fucking you know art stream. This is the fucking classical Renaissance <laughs> painting that has boobs in it. Like I don't, I, that doesn't seem like that would be a TOS. I I would be super duper shocked if that was a TOS violation. I fairly certain I would be it amazed if someone I mean, got put, on your ass for showing well, fine art. They 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 allow nudity in video games as long as it's not like a fucking porn game. So I think with that in mind, like we're okay. Um, the the I, only time I would like if I were in charge of Twitch, the only time I would ban a streamer for showing fine art is if they were showing Rokoko because. I don't know I what can't that is, tolerate but I don't, that. But I, don't, but I don't like it. By the way, Good. side note. Don't worry about it. On, on Tumblr. I think it was today or yesterday. Remember how Verizon bought Tumblr for like $1.1 billion? What, last year? It's worth more than two nickels? They sold it to WordPress recently for like $3 million. That's how much value oh, that fucking website lost in like a year. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Think about oh that. Oh, God. Think about that. That's how badly these people tanked their fucking website by making, like, really bad decisions. No, I've told you my conspiracy theory, right? What is it? My conspiracy theory is that um, Apple is trying to roll out its own image hosting service, and, like, they, they weren't cracking down on any of the other apps but they decided to crack down on tumblr just to try to get rid of it for some reason mm -hmm. like they i i can't tell you precisely why I, they they must have a reason for it but i think that apple because that's the reason that they instituted that ban is because they wanted to keep their program on iphones but why was apple selectively deciding to say all right tumblr you got to crack down harder on this they like that. No, Apple it was a, did the, a, a, a Apple corporate did. assassination. It destroyed. Yeah, I, I think that Apple purposefully destroyed them. I just don't know. Why. I have to believe that the people behind that decision or the pressure to make that decision, the people were aware of the implications of it. Is what I think. Like, oh, mm -hmm. if we make Tumblr fucking quote unquote safe for work, that will t completely destroy this fucking website. They had to have known. Chat, what did it's, we say this fella's name was again? We had a name for him during that stream. What are we calling him? Sorry, go ahead. Blumpus. Blumpus? I actually like Blumpus. Just Pupper. Blumpus. He's like really sad because he went south of the border. And then he, he found out that they, they, all, they ran out of tacos. Like there were no tacos left. Oh my fucking god, dude. And he's just like really, really, really super duper bummed out about that. See, I thought you were going the direction that they're going to make him into a taco. <laughs> oh, no. No, man. Oh, no, not him. I think, like, we're going to look at this painting for, like, the next fucking hour, but everybody is still going to walk away from this, like, saying that this is, the, like, their favorite, like, top-tier Pokemon from this painting. Yeah. Like, I think he's hard to top. Um, well, because, like, there are a lot of... I don't think there are as many animals. There are. There are. Yeah. Lots of animals. Look at, the look at this palm tree with like pine cones coming out. Or are they grapes? They might be grapes. It might be grapes. Executor. And someone in chat had just pointed this out while you, we were talking about Tumblr. Snake. Um, um, please take a look at what? what's happening right here. Oh. What's happening here, Fred? Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to check something real quick. You want to um, see when the first theory of evolution was postulated? Is that what, yeah, you, is that what you're, you're checking? It, it, no, it was... I was just like, there's no way it was this early. It was like... Absolutely nobody not. Nobody even suggested this that Absol early. Like, absolutely not. Like, obviously, Charles Darwin came way, way after this, right? I'm trying to look up if there was any sort of theory along these lines earlier. Because that'd be super duper fucking interesting, wouldn't it? Um. Oh no, I don't. 
Though it's from the looks, yeah. some of these boys, I don't think it's going to be like millions of years of, uh, you know, uh, selective, uh, what do you fucking call it? Uh, what's the phrase in evolution that they use? Fucking survival what? of the fittest. And natural sele selection. Natural selection. I don't think I it's going to be. Up I don't think it's going to be millions of years of natural selection. I think it's going to be, you know, some some stones like water stones. I mean, look at the look at this boy. Ribor, ribor, ribor. This 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 even more to me speaks that he was smoking the the Mary Jane. This is rib ribor. Was painting this. He's like, dude. Like he he's got he's got his brother Baronimus Hosh. <laughs> Baronimus. He's like. He's like, dude. There's a re there's a reason. There's dude, a dude. Yeah, dude. What if? What if? Fucking. Okay, and animals, right? You know, like like, you you know animal, <laughs> you know animals. <coughs> dude, yeah. Man, I seen like what if, I seen some animals, dude. Yeah, I, <laughs> what if? What if the king... animals are funny, bro? <laughs> yeah, the animals yeah, shut, are shut the... fucking wild, bro. <laughs> but but Baronimus, shut the fuck up for a minute. Dude, I, was, I, I need, saw the giraffe with like I a really small penis. Baronimus, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Baronimus, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Mom never loved you because you never would shut the fuck up. <laughs> True Instead, that, Barry. <laughs> I went I went out and fucking learned how to. <laughs> paint <laughs> and you just fucking sat you sat in the fucking hay bale and like Dude, you just walked I learned how to do art anything, in the snow anything, with my, anything, with anything, my urine anything, stream anything, anything that would listen anything that, that, that okay fucking animals if what if animals came from rocks. <laughs> like what else was there? What 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 Dude. else could where else could they have come from? Like, what else what else could have existed before animals? What else oh. was there? It's just it's just there's just there's just it's just, it's just, it's just rocks. Yeah, that's definitely what that's definitely what happened, man. That's definitely what happened, bro. Baronimus, oh. shut the fuck up. I'm so sick. <laughs> listening to you. Okay, I'm done with this. There's this, a reason. This, this <laughs> I think there's a reason that they, they called the guy High Ro Nimus Bosch. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is like the fucking pre evolution for Kabuto. <laughs> it looks um, more like a limpet. A limpet? I don't of... know what that is, but sure. Look at this fuck, sorry son of a bitch. Oh, dude, he's got, like, that fucking, that really, like, tiny waistline, you know? Like, this fucking, th this dude created, like, so many unrealistic body standards. Damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> for, like, generations of weird primordial soup reptiles, you know? Um, we gotta talk about this motherfucker. He got that chunk <laughs> in a trunk. Dude. Imagine, oh, It's like... He's a fucking like a type like a like think like a hermit crab like he lives inside of that fucking it, it looks like a bottle of sake like if you ever had sake at like a sushi restaurant you know how they yeah. bring it out in that white bottle yeah he's a foreskin lizard it's an uncircumcised <laughs> oh my god and that's a ball sack and that's a ball sack sure sure I hate it well I mean the arms don't really lend this theory any 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 uh legitimacy because look he's got like flesh arms right and they're a different color than like his meat if this isn't a fucking like really convoluted pokemon like a fuck like a gen 7 gen 6 pokemon where it's like they're fucking grasping at straws where you're just like i don't even know what the fuck i'm looking at anymore none of these pokemon make any sense i <laughs> what the fuck is this I... what is this N nobody nobody what is this supposed to be? It's like when you get... When your dog gets, like, stitches and they put the cone on his head so he doesn't bite the stitches, Peen Crows. 
Except they just put it all on the rest of his body, too. Coming out of his shell, and he's feeling just fine. I hate that yeah, song. Yeah, that, that, that is very scrotal. That's, that is scrotal, like, confirmed. Have you noticed that he, in heaven, at least, he just likes putting dots on things? He does. Like you, you yeah. Go back everything is everything is spotted. Unicorn. Everything is spotted. Yeah. yeah. If you go back to that unicorn, S the horn dappled and and be speckled. He likes to dapple and be speckle his creatures. Right. You got like a cheetah. This boy's got like cheetah spots. Pearled. Pearled. He's pearling them. The fucking porcupine up here, or maybe it's a D hedgehog. <laughs> Yiku. Uh, he doesn't look he doesn't look very speedy if we're being real here but he's spotty he's spotty he's not speedy but he is spotty the snake... I, I i find it really interesting yeah the the serpent in the are in these heaven. are these apples perhaps well in um in the bible they're not specified as apples they're just fruit, fruit. it's right. just the fruit of knowledge um but all right it it, it makes you wonder right you have the serpent with the fruit Fred. So what is this really depicting? Yeah, that's too many legs. Th this is a fucking... Okay, it's a bird. Okay, because that's a bird tail and a bird head with fucking centipede legs and a, like a beetle shell with, with shit. With shit! Coming out of it! What is it? It's... I, I feel like the Witcher has an opportunity to like make something of this right here. The Witcher Bloodborne? Potentially. Uh, Pokemon. Guys, we need a name for this Pokemon. Hagertraffum's house is infested with these things. Wimpod? It's like a shrimp, but it's stupid. Shrupid. Let's call him Shrupid. This is the Pokemon Shrupid. It's the first that evolution. Actually, that actually sounds like a Pokemon name. Shrupid, I choose you! Shrupid, Shrupid. I'm fucking stupid. My name is Shrupid. But, dude, um, Shrupid's form, as far as I'm concerned, has an actual, uh, okay, it's a trilobite eating, eating a bird. Okay, it may be some kind of, yeah, isopod, horseshoe crab thing, eating, eating a bird. Maybe. I reject that, however, because I like the idea that this is one animal because it's stupid. But, trilobites were extinct a long time ago, though. There's no way, actually, Bosch would have had the fucking knowledge of a, of a trilobite. No. Uh, they could have found fossils and been like, what the fuck is that, right? They used to think dinosaur uh, fossils were, were dragons and shit, right? That's historic, historically true, right? Yeah, that's fair. But I think that this, this creature is, is shaped like this for an important reason. If I zoom out a little bit, and you squint your eyes right now a little bit. Okay. Do you see a face? Oh, fuck. You see a side profile of a face? Yes, I do. Oh. Think about it. This was deliberate. It looks like a, a, it looks like a moai. It was deliberate, another thing that he wouldn't have had any knowledge of, uh, that he put this this creature right here, right, wrapped around that, that nublet, because he wanted to create, like, you know, some some more dark area for, for, the, for that, the lips to be pronounced. Mm -hmm. And maybe like a little bit of like some nose hairs, because he gave this boy some some uh, some antenna antennae. Are they boogers, soda coma? Perhaps they're boogers. All right. But it's it, it it's that animal is. Hey, what like are you doing? Eyeshadow. What are you doing back there? <laughs> Mind your business. None of your goddamn business. Um, yeah. So I mean, did they have like mascara and 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 eyeshadow and shit in fucking fourteen ninety? Probably not. I don't know if they used it. Probably not. In the water, there's a drowning ninja turtle, I'm being told. Where? Are you, are you talking about this? Behind the swan. That's the only thing it could be. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but that, why? Because the hands? <laughs> Well, I mean... That's, oh my god, look, look at the face of that swan. It's just like, Burn. I've had better days. <laughs> Man, this primordial soup has really gone downhill since I first started coming here. 
They started letting in all the riffraff, Lois. Man. Look at all these disgusting amphibians and shit. Oh, man. Man, this place, hate... used, this place used to be for the birds, but now it's really gone to the not birds. <laughs> You're... I, I like how our hatred for that show has manifested. It, it, it really, it places. really has. It really Mine has. has be, been like aggressively ignoring it and distancing myself from it. Yours has been like taking it into yourself. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Friendly pyro. Peter's the heater. Oh man, they started lighting in all the riffraff. Uh, all right, so birds smoking bongs. I think we need to move on to the let, bottom. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's move down. Uh, we haven't been here yet. Now, if this is not the fucking literal Garden of Eden, then I, I, I'd be, I'd be super surprised. Uh, I yeah. just assume that that's Jesus and Adam and Eve. Because uh, what the fuck else? Some representation of God. Uh, what else yeah. is it, right? Uh, all right, we got some fun, some fun fruit. We got some fun yeah, fruits. Yeah, there are there are a lot of references to the Garden of Eden in this. Got some wacky fruits going on over here. Uh, man, you could get like every kind of fruit on this one tree. <laughs> some woodpeckers. Um, God, those those leaves on those vines looking like fresh mints. Do you see that to the left? See see what I'm talking about? They are very, very, very spherical. Or not spherical, but like dis discs. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Again, right? We're coming back to the whole geometric sort of feeling yeah. of this whole heaven area. It's very simple shapes, but lots of, like, not lots of them necessarily, but just everything is comprised of these simple shapes, which sounds reductive, but those shapes are much like. They're large enough to be um, the focus. There's a purpose to these Nilla wafers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So Adam is chilling out over here. Uh, I don't know if that's like a micro pain or it's just like he's not trying to not trying to show us. But he's looking. He, he's, he's looking very rosy cheeked and and kind of like he's he's, he's being touching his. He's tucking his weenie between his legs like it's his first day at a nudist colony. He's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Not quite used to it yet. Well, what else is the Garden of Eden yeah, if not a big stupid, you know, nudist colony slash bad uh, orchard. Vineyard. Ork ork orchard. 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 Just tell me how to pronounce it. All right, don't make fun of me. What? What the fuck? I'm how, just, how do you pronounce I it? I just like listening to you struggle. <laughs> so does everybody in this channel, and that's why they come here. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh, Eve, looking uh, looking like she could maybe use a little bit of a uh, little bit of sun. Um. When the very oh. nice hair. Very, I, I want to show you very, something. Very I, nice I just realized. Crimp. Is you call this a crimp? However, Would, she's is, not is looking. That what it's called? She's not looking very enthusiastic to be, to being manhandled by the son of God. She she looks neither amused nor nourished. And Jesus here is kind of like, "Fuck you, looking at. Mind your business. Don't worry about what's going on over here. Worry about your own shit." Yeah. Look at that it, face. It's, it's like it's like. Can I help you? Yeah, he, that's right. Got, yeah, keep he, yeah keep walking. Keep walking. He's got the cult leader looking at a journalist face on. <laughs> yeah, he does! Yeah! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit. Alright, some bunnies. Uh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Dude! Do we Adam's trying to get in some fucking that. foot play with Jesus! Oh, fuck! He's playing footsies with Jesus. Oh, damn! Oh, Adam, you. Oh, he's fucking crafty. He thought he was flying under the radar there, but he's trying to get in a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little, a little bit of foot, a little bit of foot play with the Son of God here. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's interesting because it's like, I, I, I see, I see Jesus in this situation, like, uh, 
the bull. Uh, Adam uh, as as the cuck. Uh, this this is where this is where this is where my my mind is going. Wait a minute, is bull? It oh god, voice crack. Ugh! It, it's because it's I was fucking. It's it's... Because I was fucking screaming at you in character, um, <laughs> like coughing. Um, it, <laughs> chat, it, chat is, doesn't is like bull, this interpretation. Is bull a term? Like, is bull the term for like the person that is doing the cucking? The, my understanding of it is that is the like the cucker. Okay. The cucky is the is the, is the, the cuck. The, the, is the, 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 the per. The per the yes, the person who who gets cucked. Yes, yes, yes. yes the word is bull. Um, oh. okay. But but yeah, I mean, what? Uh, why why is why is this happening? Like, and Jesus is thing like Chad Jesus. Oh God! Someone in chat <laughs> just realized, Eve, like Adam, like Adam and Jesus think they're being all sneaky with the footsies, but look at where Eve's looking. She fucking knows. Oh, uh, she's wise to their shit. She fucking sees it. Well, I think it's the, like like the Chad Jesus is is, is like listen. All right, Adam. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be banging your lady. However, I, I will allow you to touch my awesome feet with your incel feet. You know, I will allow, I will allow this. I will allow this today. No, he's, you know, he's saying I will allow this twice. Twice. You may, <laughs> you, you may touch my feet with your feet twice. <laughs> Have you? How much of the Bible have you read? Uh, all of it. Every single word. All of it? Every single word. The real question you should be... I went to Catholic school. The, the real question you okay. should be asking me is, how much of it do I remember? I mean, th this is more a general overall feeling. Did it ever weird you out how much the topic of feet came up in the Bible? Uh, foot washing. Yeah, there was like... It was like Lots every other every washing. other page, there was like somebody's of... feet were getting washed or something. Or yeah. kissed. Kissed, yes. Lots and lots of feet kissing. You know, I what? know I, that I'm... it's symbolic. No, trombone, renegade. I know it's symbolic. I but know that doesn't, it's that doesn't me help. That doesn't help the ma matters here. There are other symbols. Um, think about living There's during during the time of Christ and during the time of you know that the Old Testament would have been written. You're walking around in like really fucking shitty. Uh, definitely not, like, you know, ergonomic, like, fucking sandals. These motherfuckers did not have, like, Dr. Scholl's inserts or whatever. And you were walking around the desert in these shitty sandals. If you could even afford sandals, most likely you were walking around barefoot like a fucking hobbit. Right? Yeah. So, you gotta imagine that these feet that are getting, like, licked and kissed and, and fucking, you know, touched are fucking grody as fuck. Bunions, fucking scaly, fucking, like, like fuck hard feet. You know, fucking mm -hmm. fucked up yellowed fingernails and everything. This is fucking really not okay that this is going on. But that's also mm -hmm. the reason why it was like a big deal if you were going to wash somebody's feet. Because it's like, oh, you just walked across the fucking desert. The nicest thing I can imagine to do for you right now because of the reality of, of what our lives is, is actually just washing your feet. But that's actually like the nicest thing you could you could probably have done for yeah. somebody in that, that era. It's... It, it makes more sense in context, but as as a modern man reading the the Bibli, you just think foot kink the entire time. Just, I mean, it's not. Yeah, absolutely. Because feet are one of those things that are just like, eh. I'm not a fan, despite it's what like this not. chat may 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 try to tell you. <laughs> um, there's more predation here. Yeah, this is like when your cat like drags in something like like a dead creature and is like. I killed this for you. Oh, cuz I love you. Aren't you happy I died? I did this for you for you? Not too bad cuz it's still going you underneath know, your fucking pillow. You know, I was I was about to joke that that cat went up to Jesus and was like, "I murdered for you." And I'm like, "Wait a minute. That's not that out of character for the Bible." <laughs> yeah, true. No, like that actually was going to be a joke. The, the, cat, the cat looks kind of sad because he went out and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a cat and do a cat thing. and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill this lizard and then I'm going to bring it to, to my boy Jesus and he's going to be so psyched about it. Yeah. And then he brought the dead lizard to Jesus and Jesus was like, I don't fucking want that. Get the fuck out of here. Get that shit. Get that shit out of here. Get that away from my feet. Don't you dare put that fucking dead lizard near my feet. I'll beat the shit out of you. 
And then the cat was like, womp, 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 womp. And then just like walked away sadly with his, with his dead lizard. You well, know, just... I guess I'm just going to take advantage of the wraparound, go to hell, and give this to Satan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Satan will at least appreciate what I do for him. Some birds. Hey, what are what are you, man? <laughs> oh my god. It... Oh man, it's a, it's like a it's, a it's a seal. It's a sea lion. Hieronymus Bosch was very good at making he had a lot weird of... creatures oh. that look unfathomably sad. Like it, 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 this thing, yeah, no, this thing this thing is this thing is is sad. He's got the puppy dog eyes like like the other thing. But like he doesn't have flippers, like he's got paws. And then there's like, I mean, <sighs> all right. Now, I I do want to spend more time on this Pokemon. He's he's a good boy. I could see this being like even potentially like a starter in like one of the like the, the less popular generations. <laughs> but but we can't spend any more time on it. No, but we because, gotta get moving. because this exists. Armored seal unicorn. Okay, so that's a unicorn. That's a, a a a mermaid unicorn. He's got fucking armor plating on his back, and he is locked in combat with a um mermaid mermaid duck spoon spoon beak duck spoon spoonbill duck is actually a real creature if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. I don't know if that's what it's called. And maybe but... Spoonbill. Maybe Bosch had, had seen one of these things and decided to make it into a mermaid. Oh, my God. These are legit good Pokemon ideas, Winterbraid. And I, I think it would behoove Game Freak to start mining this painting for ideas. Look at this son of a bitch. There you go. There's another Blind fucking... It. There's another ready, ready to go. Off the fucking shelf. No assembly required. Pokemon. Boom. Done. Another drowning fucking, eventually. another drowning frog. You know, for frogs, they're having a really hard time, like, just swimming, apparently. Like, they're not good at it. This one, like, rammed himself into a fucking wall because he's so bad at it. <laughs> I I want to imagine that... Hack, I got, just, got a little help here, guys! I want to imagine that he... Wherever he lived, there were, uh, there were some really loud frogs, like constantly making noise at night through his window and he's painting this scene he's like fuck frogs motherfucking just <laughs> stuff you in the fucking just, side of the that is cloaca frogs. enter the cloaca i'd like to point out this is the most you have zoomed in on anything You man, make those sounds as though you know. Man, you ever think sometimes, like, the whole universe is a simulation and we're all just to get here together inside of some weird fucking bird's cloaca and an Aaron Nymus Bosch painting? You ever just think that to yourself when you're smoking weed? Also, this fucking thing is a ghost. Check it out. He's got a transparent leg. Whoopsie daisy. Dude. This is a fucking ditto that is fucking ta taking the form of whatever Pokemon this is. Oh, I, I don't know. The color's fine. Sort of. It's see-through! He's fucking it... transparent! Fuck, you know what I think happened to Eric Trap? Yeah, Bosch fucked up he his ran layers. Out of... He fucked he up his layers. He ran out of painting. <laughs> yeah, he ran out of paint. That's what quails sound like, right? Probably like a now. coo. Like... Oh, this thing is pissed! Yeah, he fucking hated frogs. Look at this frog running in terror. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he had it, like some fucking like e extreme hatred for frogs. It's like you, you, and he's sitting there. He's he's sitting there with Baronimus, and he's like, you know what heaven is, Baronimus? Frog murder, <laughs> perpetual, eternal frog murder, large scale, nonstop frogicide. Drown them. Ram them into oh, walls, like murdered by life. birds and fucking dinosaur-esque cormorants, cats. Dude! Oh, and for a moment, I thought this was a bird, like, taking a shit <laughs> on this frog. On the frog. But the that's actually, the like, the front of the bird. Like, it's bending. Yeah. Wait a minute, no. This is like a backwards fucking cat dog. Where is this thing's face? Where is this thing's head? 
It's two I, I, asses. I think... It's two asses and a pair of legs. Well, two it's cloacas like... and a pair of legs. Dog cat. What the fuck? I, I think happens? that um I I think that that long bit is supposed to be the beak and then the beak's open. You see, this is the beak here. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, taking yeah. a taking a little a little nyomp he's out about, of that frog's arm. He's about to pull the arm off of that frog. Like 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 Hieronymus is sitting there being like, oh yeah, just you know rip off their legs, throw them back in the pond, let them drown. <laughs> just to fucking delimb them and throw them back. Like, have you ever read the book The Speaker for the Dead? No. Uh, there, there's the the main villain in it, sort of, it, who's Ender. It's the sequel to Ender's Game. Um, Ender's brother become, like, he, he loves torturing animals. And I just think that th this reminds me, like, just saying that reminds me of him, like, pinning down the squirrel's limbs and and skinning it alive just to be a sick fuck yeah it's just what he likes to do he becomes the leader of humanity i'm sorry i'm gonna be intermittently doing that um i think we we, we determined that that this one is the uh the, the uh what ultra mega evolution of dodrio right Blue eyes, white fuck bird. <laughs> that actually is a beautiful creature, though. I love the way that he painted this bird. I mean, it's an anatomically offensive, but uh, so is this thing, which is just fucking basically a gunt with a bird attached to it. I... <laughs> it the fuck it can't support the weight of its gunt, so right. it's walking on like its fucking like the backs of its knees. <laughs> Look at this. And he's got the spots. And he's got the spots. But they're not just spots, Fred. Like they're fucking pustules. Like you see that? Like they're they they have substance to them. They're not just like splashes of color. They're like spheres. Yeah, but like that 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 kind of thing isn't unheard of on birds. Can somebody bring me uh some popcorn? I want popcorn, but I don't feel like getting up. And uh, so God created the gunt bird. <laughs> I really want popcorn, but I don't feel like walking to the kitchen right now. Can somebody uh, it. Keep me up some popcorn, bring me a bowl of popcorn, I don't want to miss my show. Could you imagine if... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we got it. It looks like a tyrant. <laughs> and Fucking... it's about to eat the frogs. <laughs> he is. He's got a long, like, forked, like, prehensile tongue that's going in for that delicious frog meat. Oh, oh, dude, frogs were on like the bottom of the fucking food chain here. Swalot, I feel like Swalot like is a is a Pokemon though. Like that's actually, but this thing is all about like the Pokedex entry is like we'll swallow fucking three frogs whole and give no shits. Hey, Ma, there's a weird frog outside. Ma, there's a weird fucking bird outside. Hey, Ma, look at this weird fucking bird. Dude, I I I, I love it. I, I love this one. Do you think he's flightless? I imagine he's flightless and he just like waddles around and just like maybe he maybe he'll like bend over to eat something, but usually he doesn't have to because he's got the prehensile tongue. God, it's, it's barbed. You think this fucking bird pays his taxes? What? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> And then of course, it what did we what did we say his name was the other night? This Pokemon, Platypec. Yeah, this is Platypec, Fred, who is actually in the act of fucking biting a frog, bisecting a frog with his fucking teeth, like clean in half. What the fuck? Certainly, he he, he has torture. the ability to fucking swallow it whole, but he wants to be sadistic. Have you seen the Muppet movie? Uh, I have, Whoa. but have you seen? Fucking weird, like mermaid, uh, I had fucking plague doctor reading a book in the middle of the pond. I love it. I actually really like that. Like, what the fuck is going on here? He's reading the Pokédex to figure out what the fuck is happening. And then, of course, the infamous uh, black and white photograph taken at Loch Ness, circa <laughs> um, nineteen, I believe, uh, early nineteen sixties. 
A lot of people say it's a log, but the true believers know better than that. They say that this is, in fact, the legendary cock nest monster. Cock, of course, because it's a rooster. I need more tea after that. Mm-hmm. Oof. The legendary, wow. the legendary, that was the legendary giant black cock <laughs> of cock nest lake. All right, and we're back to the cloaca. Good. I, 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 I want to zoom out real quick and look over this whole thing again. We do have to do that before we move on to the next panel. Gosh, that's just one. That, that's just the first part of this triptych. Guys, we didn't even fucking get started. Um, apparently, there's a shadow of the baby in the water. What are you talking about? Yeah, he did spend some time uh, making certain areas shadow. darker here, implying things beneath the surface. Orange yeah. juice nut. Thank you so much for that sub. That's something that I really appreciate, like, looking back. Because I know you're sick to death of looking at the painting as a whole, right? No, um, I'll... Never. <laughs> never. Okay. Uh, okay. This painting? Never. Um, oh, we it, almost we almost missed this fucking completely flattened bird. <laughs> what happened here? Can I get a little help? Liquid. Bur birds are liquid. They mush. Somebody dropped something on me. Yes, the elusive uh, Northern European flatbird. Known for right, sliding so under got... people's doors, coming into oh their rooms God. at night and pecking their peenies. And look look where he is. Look where he is. Right next to their feet. Oh, yeah. He got stepped on. We're, we're getting... We're, we're, like, <laughs> we're, 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 we're doing multi-fetish drifting now. You're going for a ride, kid. Multi-track drifting. Uh, chat saying he looks like a like a bomber, like a modern like B fifty two. A little bit. I was gonna say I I appreciate he. Ah. <laughs> oh, he's, this bird was just like fucking tried to eat that used condom and then immediately realized what a bad idea it was and spit it out. He looks like he just told a bad joke. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Perpetually. The, the, this is the screen grab that you're going to use. Like, that that crow is the screen grab boing, you're going boing, to use boing, for boing, boing, boing. the fucking um, the thumbnail for YouTube, right? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I hadn't thought about yeah. it. Um, Are you, or, or, or just use a close-up of Jesus and Adam playing footsie. <laughs> a baby with a knife in the water? Guys, I don't see that part. I think you might I be talking it. about this. Are they I talking about this? Yeah, I see it. What baby, by the way? Like, what? I see it. Well, I mean, they're saying the shadow of a baby, of a baby that, like, we looked at earlier. Like, they made it seem like it was the pers one person. No. Made it seem like... All right, whatever. It's just a bab. Do you want to move on to the the center of the triptych? Yeah, let's keep moving. Sure. All I, right. I, I just want to take a moment, though, uh, before we do. I want to I want to appreciate the sort of effects that he puts in the water in heaven it's you can see things beneath the surface sort of suggesting that there's always a little bit more and then the birds are going off in the distance it's like heaven is endless it sort of does right. give this endless feeling to it he lets your uh, your imagination take over right just a little bit of a, yeah, a dab of paint in the right place to just kind of ignite always, your own imagination it's like that there's always more delight to the garden in heaven right that's that's kind of the implication that Check I'm this out. feeling from it. Yeah. A giant uh black bird being pursued by a mob of angry white ones. Some kind of social commentary? In if I respond, in, in, am in, I going to end up on the front page of Reddit? Um well are you are you gonna like say the N word, Fred? <laughs> Well, I mean, in either case, I think that this fucking bird um, may have done something to piss the other ones off. We don't know if this aggression, this persecution is justified. Uh, we don't know if this is, uh, this is kind of like, you know, an unfair persecution. But I would say that 
the fucking flock of birds chasing this this bigger bird is is you know what i honestly like i will catch this once in a while and i always i always actually kind of like appreciate seeing this seeing like birds beefing with each other like in the air like in flight yeah like, i, I was know, in right? um, my brother's backyard like uh, yeah like a month or two ago and there was just a crow that like fucked with like the wrong i guess like group oh. of like of, of sparrows and they were so just like fucking haranguing him and like harassing his ass you know, just like fuck. There were like three or four sparrows, just like fucking slant, like dive bombing at this crow who was like, just "Leave me alone, please." Yeah, no, birds are aggro as fuck. Um, um, th there are two comments in the chat that I really wanted to point out. Someone, mm -hmm. someone, um, th that bird is being chased out because maybe because it said maybe we should take it easy on the frogs. A and someone else said, um, let me let me find it real quick. It's um. Ifril said, "This is an allusion to Lucifer converting a group of angels." Oh, he's. Which it's, is not what I was it's not a chase. It's not a chase. It's not a chase. He's leading them away leading from away. heaven. He's leading yeah. them away from heaven. Motherfucker, that has to be the intention of this. Absolutely, it has to be. Um. Yeah. Holy it's shit! The deep law. The deep law. Are are you trying to sound Mordor. like Gamby? Yeah. All oh right. no, I, I I was going to say um, you sound more like Bernie Sanders getting really into her. The deep ball. law, the deep law, Douglas. All right. What? It's I don't know. It's when I when I'm trying to sound like Bernie Sanders, I just basically do Mr. Dink. I was about to say. Um, it's getting a little dinky here. Yeah. So. I say we move on to the center. Move on, yeah. Um, well, again, we're going to go from, from top to bottom. We're going to analyze as we go. Things are getting a little bit a little bit wackier over here in the center. You, they, they go from not terribly wacky, a little bit wacky, to completely fucking batshit crazy as you move from left to right. Yeah, y you ever get so drunk you ride a griffin? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, when I was in college, man, that was like a weekly occurrence. Now, yeah, I, I love, I love that this guy just looks like he is on a bender. Woo! -hoo, he's yeah, just like, we just hijacked he, he just... this Griffin. Gonna drive it through the, through the, uh, the quad. You know, at the, uh, at the campus. Gonna drive it around. I got my giant fuck bird friend. You know, he's my, my frat, my frat brother. Uh, we stole this tree from the, <laughs> from the sorority. <laughs> he stole yeah, that he tree. Just, they had that. Yeah, I I can just see this. Like he he's in the suburbs and he's like <laughs> grabbing this tree and yanking it out of the ground. And then there's like a, a suburban mom just staring on, too afraid <laughs> to do anything about it, as he's naked, hands wrapped around the like the the trunk of this tree. And after he can't get it out of the ground. <laughs> Obviously, he just kind of grabs a branch and starts putting his full weight on it and rips it off. Then jumps on a griffin and starts flying away. Yeah! Bayfy Kappa! Yeah! Bayfy Kappa. A giant, like, bear frog thing. Is, is, is Bay a Greek letter? Beta? Be beta. Be that's what I meant. Beta Phi Kappa. They also, stole, they also stole. They also stole the football team mascot. <laughs> they just fucking. Yeah, that, that's just that's <laughs> just the fucking. Oh my god. Uh, all right, and then over to the right. Suit. Um, I mean, let's try to take this entire. Fuck this. Oh my! No, no, no! You Don't can't you start even, scrolling you down. Just you yeah, can't you even see. fucking do that. You can't even no, do that. You fucking can't. We're gonna. We're There's looking at so this. So much happening. That's a that's that's a more anatomically correct flying fish with. That oh, is a lizard, flying fish. Man? That 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 thing does in fact exist, although yes. I think it's max like you know what, it, it's, height it's, that it's it that it can of, get like in the air is like a couple feet. It, yeah, it, it's it's more of a full, slightly more slowly fish. Um, and I say one of the more like one of the more anthro Pokemon. Uh, think like yeah. a uh, like a kind of an a, a, aquatic. Uh, yeah, like a like a Charmander, aquatic Charmander, like meets mm -hmm. maybe Lucario type of a thing, lizard mermaid. Yeah, 
and he's got this big cherry on he's the in a, stick, and he's, he's in like, a great you know fucking what I, mood. He's in a great fucking mood. Look no at him. He's like, oh, it's a fucking beautiful day. I just got this fucking flying fish waxed down at the car wash. They gave it a full fuck, full body wax. You know, got it detailed too. It's looking fucking sick. You know, I got my uh, I got my fishing pole. I'm gonna head down to the uh, to the river. You know, I'm gonna fish for some for some fucking literal fucking hu human beings in the fucking in the, in the river literal human beings but we'll get oh, we'll get we'll so get back weird. to that we'll, we'll get there because we know how much those fucking human beings love cherries like i went to i went to a brothel to he went to the he went to the and they gave me and they gave me this novelty cherry <laughs> because he lost his cherries so they were like take this exactly. one Exactly. Tis Tiskian is in chat saying that he went to the carp wash. Going to the carp uh, wash. Yeah, the I carp wash, it. yeah. I want you to scroll down into the left a bit. Mm -hmm. What sex position is that? All right, that's a Kama Sutra pose. We'll be getting to that. Actually, I believe that's from the uh, James Cameron movie Avatar. But we'll be getting back to that in a moment. <laughs> um, I want to... Well, see, here's the thing. The rest the of these, movie ever. the rest of these are buildings that we need to start at the at the bottom and then go to the top. I think we okay. should do that. But um, that's either a fucking cherry bong or a cherry bomb. It's got a fuse and it's lit. What's the white? What's the white bit? That's a burb. That's a burb on top of the cherry. That looks like a burb to me. All right, angel. Uh, all right. This angel is uh just got a job with uh Uber Eats. Or uh, eat fresh, or or uh, DoorDash. Somebody order the fresh herring. I did. I'm yeah, down it's... here in this Home Depot. You could just drop it off right here. No, I, I just imagine it flying directly at your front door and letting go and pulling up at the last second. You're sitting on the couch like a fucking potato, <laughs> and you just hear this loud, wet thump. thump. Yeah. On your front door, thump. and you open it, and there's this massive fish just flopping around. <laughs> Half. Also, um, you know, when you work these kinds of jobs and you got to make these food deliveries, and I know this because I worked many, many fucking delivery delivery jobs. Uh -huh. um, you don't really, like, have a lot of time, you know, to yourself. Like, you could go into the restaurant and it's like, oh, shit, these orders are piling up. They got to get, they, they got to get out. They got to get to the fuck of the customers. You don't necessarily mm. have time to, like, take a shit. So I actually would have really appreciated having, like, a bird companion to help fucking keep my asshole clenched. <laughs> while I was while I was driving around making those deliveries, so I didn't like shit my pants in my car because I can't tell you how many times that happened. What you you clench your butt cheeks or you shit in the car? I'm gonna leave that one open to interpretation, Fred. All right, and uh, of yeah, course a, a kind of a flying fish here. Looks like Bosch kind of just gave up on this one. <laughs> he was just like, yeah, good enough. Man, it's late. I got. I got. Like, I have. Go ahead. Like I, I can't be focusing on this fish when I have another two dozen naked people to draw before I go and fuck my wife. We look in the back. We got uh, just yeah, more more nudists. Right, that or it's like fucking Jonestown so, like, or something. Well, uh, what's interesting to me about this is like heaven was very orderly, right? Mm -hmm. Like even if there was some fuckery going on, it was still generally orderly, and you could sort of tell everything that was happening even if it was sort of surreal this i don't even know what they're su what they're supposed to be doing um it's like people like you you have that weird head position up top there like it things get less clear and more confusing now that we're out of heaven yeah and that's definitely deliberate uh i would I, say. I, th I think that he's making a statement with that yeah, um, people are down here doing stuff that just doesn't make sense, or defying the order and the and the logic that we saw in the left part of the triptych. Yeah. Um. All right. So we got a group of uh, fucking deer and horses, horse-like creatures. We got a man riding a um. A cute whatever it is. That is adorable. Whatever that guy is riding, it is adorable. And it's pretty cute. Um, I feel like it's one of I those Pokemon it. that like doesn't have an evolution. Like it's you catch it and that's it. She's she's prancing, and the fellow riding it, so cute, is holding a branch that has a 
what in the ever loving fuck is that attached to it? And I mean, this guy may not be aware of whatever it is he's sitting in, but he's just like, huzzah! Billy, it's my turn in the tar ball. Bob said it's my turn. Uh, what the fuck is that, man? Is he gonna go fishing that's, with no? With, that that that's the this? fruit that black licorice comes from. Ah, um, it is called. I hate black licorice. It is called something with an A. A A A A A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S A S I, I think that's the point, is it's nothing. It's a ve perhaps a vehicle of some kind? I it, it's how is it a vehicle? It's just a thing that peep that someone is holding a thing while riding. Alright, so the bear uh that was in heaven doing pole dancing realized uh that that, that it was done, you know, degrading itself. Um, for this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So now, to get my degree. Now it's over here trying to get, trying to get its degree. Go to community college. God bless it. I support it. And then he gets to college, and all it is is dudes riding weird, cute, prancing things and carrying other people in tar balls. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, he's just like I. It, it, this bear is like I was a stripper for four years in heaven. And then I came to college because I want to better my future, and you people are just treating it like a joke. Like a joke. He's definitely had it up to here with, like, these fucking trust fund kids doing, like, anything that was... <laughs> things that made the, the weird shit that they thought they saw at the strip club, club look like fucking child's play. Yeah, you remember last night when, when we were playing XCOM 2? I was showing you XCOM 2. Yes, this did happen. And fucking... Like, there's the couch up on top of the store, and you're just like, there's a couch up there. Like, I'm just like, yeah, it's just some dude's hangout spot. There's the 12-pack of beer. This is a thing that goes on. People put, like, sofas on the roofs of buildings and then just, like, sit on that sofa and don't, like, bring it inside when it rains or anything. They just leave it up there and then go sit yeah, on, like, a moldy Mike... fucking sofa on the roof and, like, hang out. Yeah, Mike Mike proceeds to enumerate all of the problems about that setup that college kids don't give a fuck about. Fred, we're going to have to talk about this. We're going to have to talk about this. So, it's a centipede, but it's also a lizard. A lizipede. It's a lizipede, if you will. You remember. And does this remind you of anything? From the heaven portion. Mother. There is a thing like this. Mother. Sort of. Fucker. Yeah. Are we here? Up higher. A little higher. There you go. This fella. Yeah. Perhaps the pre-evolution. Ah, yes. It's like, it's like a shittier version of that pretty thing. All right. First evolution. Second evolution. Then, oh my god, we're, we're getting spoilers on some weird shit here. Thir thir third evolution. He lost the shell. Now, it is a rideable creature. This man is giving it uh, is giving it instructions. Telling it where to go. Uh, he's being very thorough in his direction. Uh, imagine fuck waking up in the, in the middle of the night and just walking. Go, you're gonna go get a glass of water. And one of these is just fucking like sitting in the middle of your hallway. God, look at him. What's He's your move? emaciated, though. What's your move? What do you do? Um, I offer them a peanut butter sandwich. It works for the children of God. <laughs> this is Florida man, um, seal. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man I, I, gets I absolutely like... shit-faced, fucking makes a fuck lizard centipede, do a bunch of meth, and then rides it naked through the center of fucking downtown Orlando. I, I wonder, I wonder... 
All right, chat, I'm going to pose a challenge to you. Every time we look at a new, like, person or set of people in this painting, I want you to come up with your own Florida man headline. <laughs> a little, like, like mini backstory, for a little bit of lore for the character. Yeah, does exactly. Do you have a chin strap? No. That that is that that's, is just the shadow of his chin. That's not a chin that strap. That is just the chat. That is just the shadow of his chin. Right. Don't get excited. All right, all right, all right. I won't get excited. Uh, speaking of riding weird creatures, uh, No Man's Sky is getting a big update. My ex. No, I'm just fucking. My, my ex. Hey. hey. My ex wife. Uh, no Man's Sky is getting a huge update on Wednesday. They're saying you're gonna be able to ride yeah, creatures. Is. More interestingly, you could tame the creatures, you could ride the creatures now, but you can also, they were very specific to say to say this point, you can milk the creatures. Milk them. Now, my mind immediately, obviously, I'm sure, as long, uh, along with many, many other people, went straight to Luke Skywalker. Star Wars, yeah. Drinking the blue milk. Uh, I think I'm going to make it my mission... Right, I'm going to stream this game, hopefully on Wednesday, the day that this, this update drops. Um, I'm going to find a crab. And I'm going to milk a crab. I want crab milk. Shouldn't be too hard because half the fucking aliens in No Man's Sky are some variation of a fucking crab. But we are going to... That's the mission. We're going to find a crab. We're going to milk the crab. And then we're going to fucking do, like, sick motorcycle tricks jumping over the crab while chugging that crab milk. And do like sick motorcycle flips over the crab while did chugging any, the milk. Did did Disney create novelty blue milk? Is that real? Based on that? Is that a thing? I would be surprised if they didn't. Hey, that's Someone a saying, Hey, that's a neat trick, but I can saying, see yes, your vagina. Yes, yes. So not not only do they does Hieronymus have to physically scar these frogs first he has to physically scar the frog by ripping off its four legs and then mentally scar the frog by having <laughs> this like night in the woods character show this frog it's done. <laughs> the night in the woods character has cricket legs uh and i think it's also a gymnast of sorts um someone easy man is in chat saying it's a homestuck frog he's only got two legs do the Homestuck frogs only have two legs? I think the Homestuck characters don't have arms is the point he's making. Like, they're, they're neutral model when they're not doing anything. They just don't have arms. Is that right? Yeah. It's like a, know a, Goomba, the, know a Goomba actually... frog? A Goomba frog. That's a, neat, tr a neat trick, but I, I could see your cloaca. <laughs> this is, you got this is Mike, this is the rarest Pepe. <laughs> That's what someone in chat said. The rarest Pepe of this all. Is, this is this is a very rare Pepe. 1490 rare Pepe. Alright. So I'm noticing that these are mer mer mermaids, mer mermen. A lot Mer's of them are ba balancing giant cherries and blueberries on their heads for, for some reason. Um they are also joined by a, a, a narwhal, um, one of uh, one of the most popular uh, mythological creatures that doesn't actually exist and never has. Um, makes sense that, you know, he'd draw a unicorn, but also, you know, because it, it, in my mind, where you have a unicorn, you have a narwhal, right? Um, I, fair logic. The narwhal is spearing another berry of sorts. What do you think the odds are? Obviously, I know that a narwhal is an extant creature. I'm just being a penis. Um, what are the odds that Bosch would have ever have seen a narwhal? I mean, even people that hang around where narwhals live don't see narwhals. This They're... is an arctic... Creature. They're quite rare. They're so, quite rare creatures. You know what I think is the big, the bigger possibility is Bosch fucking created a narwhal by accident from his own imagination. Coincidentally, that would surprise. That that actually would be amazing. And notice that the the fucking face is a little bit more fish like than it is mammalian. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I 
Yeah. I'd like to imagine those lizard people are bullying that thing. It's like, it's like, what's what's up, one horn? And they're and the dude's just like, guys, stop calling me names. And they're like, <laughs> hey, horny boy, have this. And they stick the berry on the top. And he's like, no, I can't guys, get it no, off. It's, Could somebody... you know, it's really hard for me to get these off. Oh. <laughs> somebody help me get it off. Man, I almost and feel like they're just like, ha, we're gonna go worship Dagon. Fuck you, nerd. Dagon, yeah. Yeah, oh nice nice reference, bro. Stop! I need to let him know that I understood that reference. <laughs> Please. I I, I, I want to look at this again because I kind of get the impression that he just slapped that there because in his mind there was like a fucking region of this painting that was just didn't have anything going on. So he just no, came you know, back you know later that? and like put these Pokemans here. You you remember a few <laughs> okay. years ago when when videos start yeah there's just empty space stick them there y you remember that trend that there were videos that showed up on social media of like a person like a a, a woman grabs a man with her legs and starts like aggressively jackhammering her vagina into the person's face no. No. Have you never seen these videos? Like, no. it, it looks like she's trying to break the person's nose. This like, is she'll, not porn. she'll have pants on. It, it's just like videos from <laughs> parties and shit like that. I'm sure that there are people in here. Yeah, see, so, wh one person's seen it. It's like that. There, it's apparently it's called daggering. You know That's what? I do. I do. Saying. Now that Rock you say King that word, I, I daggering. I do remember this. Yeah, I do remember this. It, it's like the absolute most absurd brain dead dance move where someone just grabs the other person with their legs and jackhammers their vagina into the other person's face it's, it's the final evolution yeah that that that's what is hap that's what's about to happen here this frog is just like <laughs> let's get dead let's get dead oh, the pussy's gonna break my nose break my nose with your pussy i mean he's already been through a lot maybe this is one of the frogs that had its limbs ripped off in the previous part of the painting and he's just fucking trying to live his best life fucking after having his arms ripped off by a fucking, by Platy Peck. Oh, dude. Uh. These, these two friends, someone in chat called them friends. I feel like they are somehow actually like the stealth, like main characters of this entire painting. Like, I like this backstory for the, for the two of them, like this kind of lore for the two of them. Where they're just mm. like trying to make their way through through this through this world, where there's obvi obviously like a lot of fucking like massive fucking really important like even political things taking place, but they're just here like stumbling through the middle of it like fucking two idiots, like fuck think like Abbott and Costello or or, or whatever and, and, and or, or fucking Laurel and Hardy and like <laughs> March of the Wooden the Wooden Soldiers or whatever. These these two are the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern of this painting. That is exactly what I was trying. That's yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, but wait, I think I know that reference. That's w waiting for waiting for Godot. What Rosencrantz and Guildenstern? What is that? That's, That's Hamlet. Hamlet. Oh man, I was so. I, guys, that looks like I was wrong on this one. My next, <laughs> my next guess was gonna be. Um, fuck. What's the What's the play about the two the two guys who tried it? The producers. My next guess was gonna be the producers. It wasn't waiting for Godot. It wasn't the producers. It was Hamlet. But yeah, they're like the fucking like the like the uh, the sirens or whatever, where they're just passing through the fucking story, fucking just completely fucking oblivious mm -hmm. to all the fucking big important things that are actually happening. Yeah. I I love them, by the way. <clears throat> Could this be another like video game duo? Like we had Stampy and and Stinkfinger, Timon and Pumbaa, Dolly. This is like Jack and Daxter. Oh my god. Banjo and I Kazooie. I feel like they're on the same level of what the fuck is going on, though. Notice that they do seem confused, but notice that these are similar to the guy who was on the flying the flying fish, and it occurs to me now that they're knights, aren't they? Um. Well, I, I, I remember in, in plate the one armor. on top it looked a lot more... I, I, I considered that, but then you called it a lizard, and I was like, yeah, I think that's right. Well, but I don't know. I think this confirms... Look much more knight-like. It could be somewhere yeah. in between... You don't know, you could have like a fucking Quicksilver like Alex Mack thing going on here. 
where they're like part liquid. I was more thinking like it's sort of open for interpretation, and this guy's just showing us his asshole. Now, I think he's just stretching his hamstrings. Uh, I don't think his his intention is for anybody to see his asshole. In fact, he kind of he seems like he's in the process of realizing that somebody might be seeing his asshole, and is like, "Oh no, and someone is, might see my asshole." And he's like, "Oops," he's like, "Oops," but at the end of the day, like he doesn't care enough about that to stop. He's like, I he, guess, all right, so maybe somebody can see my asshole, but you know what, I, I'm, 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 I'm not done. I'm, I'm reminded of the clip from Red vs. Blue, who wants to hold my legs while I stretch out my hammies. <laughs> no, no, nobody's falling for that again. He does have my hair, as someone in chat, I think, is trying to point out. He does, yeah. Um, and all you he know, needs is a chin strap. This, this may be my representation in this painting. I do try to stretch my hamstrings as often as possible. Uh, it alleviates the back pain. Um, what's that? He's got, like, a giant bone spur. That's actually, like, his fucking, like, lower left lumbar region, which is, which is precisely where I experienced the majority of my back pain. Oh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Maybe a he's just... the canvas. Ma maybe, so maybe, said, yeah, it, it is a scratch. Maybe he's waiting for the narwhal to, to slam it in. Maybe it's that. I think it's a scratch. He's scratching his feet. No, it's a scratch on the canvas. Oh, it's a scratch on the, canvas. On the, the canvas. canvas! Oh. The paint has been accidentally scratched up. Oh, I understand. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe he's, uh, maybe this was like a, a 1490s, like a Mr. Hands type of a, a situation unfolding here. I shouldn't have said that out loud, but I did get over it. All right, um, here we have... Another jackalope. Another jackalope. Yep. Although, this seems like more like a chinchilla than a rabbit, but absent the tail. I got big booty bitches, big, big booty bitches, what? He's a little chunky. He's a little chunky. But I do appreciate that they're like an antelope horns, right? It may, perhaps it's a snackalope, Dolly, as yeah. opposed to a jackalope, because he's just like a little snack. He's just a little bite-sized snack. He eats you up. All right. Now we need to move on to something intensely fucking stupid. Mushroom turtle, man. Now, I assume that that's the, uh, the top of a mushroom with, again, spots on it, little, little, little spears. Looks like a fucking pincushion, right? And it's got a little window in there where uh, this, uh, this fella can uh, peep out at his environment. He also uh, has the ability to walk around. Uh, kind of so somehow reminds me of human centipede. Like, somebody's done this to him. It's like, you know, you are going to be uh, surgically attached to this giant mushroom head. Mike, I guarantee you, you go digging around the internet enough, This is a there kink. will be a forum <laughs> for, a like, for this kink. It's a kink. Whatever this kink is. Yeah, there, there I'm will a be mushroom a man. I'm a mushroom man. And he's just crawling around under the mushroom... They call this the, the these people the fun guys. You know, it's just some guys who like to have a little bit of fun with mushrooms. Nothing weird about that. Um oh, again, yeah, someone pointed out the people on the left are not having this shit. No, the people on the the people on the left, I like to th this is the representation of me and you and and this chat room right now. I like this one guy with his arm outstretched. What the fuck is that? Like I just did that yeah. with my hand. What the that's what, what he said. You can, you, can, you, can yeah. he, you can hear it. You can hear it. Um, excuse me. What the fuck is that? And the person you, next you, to him you, is, you, like leaning, is like leaning back. Like to kind of just fucking take in the entire spectacle. Like, dude, I don't know. Dude, I don't. Dude, I don't know. Dude, I don't. Dude, I don't know. Oh, you know what dude, I hear? I you know I what I hear? No, dude. It, you know what I hear? Have, have you seen that clip of, um, uh, of, like, the... The kid, like, the dad is crashing a party, and the kid is like, Daddy, Daddy, chill. And the dad's like, what the hell is even that? I have not seen like, this. <laughs> it's such a good clip. So there's a... It, it, it's staged, but it's... I, I imagine him yelling that in that voice. There's a branch in the mushroom, and we have some very interesting fruits, uh, including this guy, who is doing a... Uh, 
little Cirque du Soleil routine here. Uh, as far as I could tell, a lot of a uh, lot of really impressive athleticism being depicted in this painting. Mm -hmm. uh, they may be light bulbs, Lamango, perhaps some bioluminescent no, fruit. Even, e even even that one fruit is being like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, go up, go up. Like, you see, you see the that <laughs> yeah. fruit right there looking at me. He's like, dude, what the fuck? He's like, come on, man, nobody's impressed with this shit. Nobody but thinks I'm it's so cool. limber. I'm so Nobody limber. No one cares. It's not worth seeing your bare ass. Guys, I'm so freaking turned on right now. Oh, guys, I'm a mushroom. Oh fuck. Oh my god, this is. Oh this. Ah, oh, oh, this is the best thing ever. I'm a fucking mushroom, man. This is so hot. All right. And immediately. A new subreddit is born. We've got to get. We've got to get here. We've got. Look at that bird. There. There's you want to take. You want to take a crack at, 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 at this. You want to take a crack at trying to explain what you what you're looking at here. Um, did I ever show you? I, I, I'm going back to Oates Films again. But I, did I ever show you Zygote? What is Zygote? That horror short of like the creature people in that a laboratory. Is and it's a little it's got a little bit of that like it's like a, a flesh monster kind of like uh the thing yeah yeah a little bit except like it, it's a bunch of human parts put together yes. to make one big monster yes 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 it's hands all the way down you did show me that and it was fucking yeah cool. yeah yeah really yeah, really that, well that's done special I, that's effects. what i'm seeing um it's not a con uh, a, a compilation of different body parts and flesh it was the district nine guy uh, jc please yes uh, yes, it yes it was um, this is a, a bunch of people willingly engaging, uh, I was gonna call it a circle jerk, but on the right, these people are obviously not jerking, they're kind of, they're upside down. Hank Hill ass. <laughs> I've got a flat ass, Peggy, and a narrow urethra. Uh, I, I mean, hate, I hate that. Hank Hill's narrow urethra is a plot point in so many episodes it, it, it of is. King of the Hill. <laughs> or you mean you love it. It uh, is a recurring theme. Thick Dinkman says it's a communal ass eating. I think this may be the first of many, many different um, Kama Sutra positions that we're going to be seeing in this painting tonight. Here's what I actually think is happening. I've been thinking about this, guys, since the last time we looked at this. The bird is on its quote-unquote back. Like, think of it laying uh, on its on its back in a maybe like a supine position. Would you call that a supine position? Which is not something that you ever, oh. ever, ever, ever see birds do. Unless they're like this. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, like the blue bit is the tail. Yes, yes. It took me a minute to see that. And then the spots are the belly. And like the tail is curling up. He's yeah, red yeah. eagle. The confusing part is yeah. the, the, the part that makes that less likely is where the fuck are the legs coming the from. feet yeah the feet. The, the feet would be like coming out of his lower back at that point that makes yeah. no sense right now that now he's i think it's just an egg bird allowing somebody to balance inside of a uh, 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 red thing i think it's like is is this the one clothed person on their head balancing on their head on on his head which which comes back later Remember, it's a theme, apparently, okay? Um, with the really long beak. Kind of reminds me of a kiwi bird, right? Uh, and he's got a bun hopping, hippity hopping and on down the beak. He's also uh, grabbing and stroking his own beak, perhaps in an attempt to join the circle jerk. And then at the bottom of the beak, uh, you have the... Uh, the person who was designated the role of cum catcher. I shouldn't have said that, but I did say it. Deal with it. Okay. You you said that. I did say it. Um, why this person is at the end of the beak holding it, none can say. Fuzzy guy person speculates that uh, they, they may be engaging in an act of beak cake. <laughs> beak cake, sure. Oh. <laughs> beak cake. All right, so now we're going to go to the bottom left of this uh, portion because we need to check out the bird stravaganza. We've got massive 
massive birds, including the smug duck. Right? Don't forget <laughs> about the smug duck. Very smug duck. Um, confused and frightened woodpecker. If anyone else has played XCOM 2 all the way through, that's an avatar bird. Is it? <laughs> uh, we have here... Um, you may remember... Uh, shit, I believe... Fuck. Final Fantasy... Shit, I don't remember what Final Fantasy this was. One of the Final Fantasies ha had a character with an afro that had a little, a little baby chocobo living inside of it. Oh, I haven't even played it, and I know what you're talking about. I saw the movie. All right, this is the reverse of that. Giant bird has a little, a little, a little person. In fact, two, two little, little people living inside of their, their really giant hair, right? Um, and then we have Captain Olimar, of course, as we discussed the chat. Captain Olimar, who's like really enthusiastic about riding this, uh, this, this bird, and also somebody inspecting closely Captain Olimar's asshole. Maybe it's a prostate exam. Maybe this is his proctologist checking out, checking up on uh, Olimar's legendarily uh, crippling hemorrhoids. But he's just like, uh, for whatever reason, he's got a, a vested interest in Olimar's anus. You know, um, it actually does sound like something a medical practitioner back then would do. Put this helmet on your head while I look at your asshole. <laughs> Why? There's because okay. science. Are, are you, that's why. She looks very we over have this. Determine this. Have you, have you heard about asshole readings? I'm sorry. What's asshole readings? Um, it's a fairly new thing, but it's like palm readings. Except instead of reading the creases in your palm, they read the creases in your asshole. You're making this up. I am not making this up. You're making this up. I'm not making this up. Wh this is fucking... It, it, it is, like... There are a couple of New Age books that have been written about it. Asshole reading. Yeah. Say psych right now. <laughs> I see some preparation H in your future. I wonder what an anal fissure means. I I like how <laughs> this is the longest mic has been silent for I'm this just entire fucking, stream. I can't believe it's real. I'm just like, I'm just up? doubting you. I'm just doubting you. No, I get like I I don't feel like you would make shit up, so I want to believe you. Like I'm just kind of like, dude, I I. Around now is the point where I would typically be telling you if I was fucking with you. I am not fucking with you. That's, see, that's what I'm feeling like. A what, so what would it be called for real? Anus reading? Um, there is a name for it, and mm. I can't remember what it is. It, I think it's similar to palmistry. Anistry? <laughs> the artistry of anistry. Anal ast astrology. Right. Astrology. I, it, it is worse. It, it's worse. It's, it's called astrology. It is called rumpology. Rumpology, huh? And it's specifically, um, it's here. Rumpology, astrology, <laughs> or bottom reading is a pseudoscience. Physiology. Oh my god, I don't even know what that is. Performed by examining crevices, dimples, warts, moles, and folds of a person's buttocks. I fucking, I fucking hate this so much, Fred. A would read the, palm, read the palm of a hand. What do you think they would get out of, like, Goatsy's anus? Like, what do you think Goatsy's, like, reading? Like, what would they, what would they glean from, from his, from uh... his rectum? Could you never use the word glean and rectum in the same sentence? You're making that really hard for me right now. You're, make, you're making that impossible. I like how there is a very small section on the Rumpology Wikipedia page dedicated to criticism. Because <laughs> oh, it needs it! Because it needs it! Because it needs an educated fucking dissection! And, and, and fucking critical learning. analysis of, of, of why it's bullshit! 
Upon learning about a TV show rumpologist known as Professor Jose Miranda, the Florida psychic Cherie Silver disassociated himself from the practice. Yeah, I'm dissociating myself Sentinel, right now. Quote, I can't imagine anyone wasting their time and money on something like this when there are so many legitimate psychics out there. <laughs> I love that it's quote. Florida. So it's Florida. It's Florida. It's happening in Florida. It's Florida. Yep. It's Florida. I forgot about that detail. Oh my Theory God. and practice. Rumpologists have a variety of theories as to the meaning of different posterior characteristics. <laughs> According to Stallone, the left and right buttocks reveal a person's past and future, respectively. Although she has also commented that, quote, the crack of your behind corresponds to the division of the two hemispheres of the brain. <laughs> End quote. So then wait, what, According... your, your fucking taint is like the brainstem? I... Oh god, no, that would be like the anus. Dude... According to blind German clairvoyant and rumpologist Ulf Beck... How is he fucking braiding your asshole if he's blind? How is he oh, braiding you your know. asshole? He can't see your asshole! Oh, oh, you know exactly how he's reading. No! Don't, don't lie to yourself, Mike. Oh, he's fucking molesting you! You're fucking paying money to have this man fondle your asshole! Quote, is that not obvious? Is that not obvious? I, you understand that a vast majority of cults and pseudoscience was created to exploit people, right? Yeah, I just don't like it. Oh, dude. <laughs> like oh, in this particular rumpology. fashion. Rumpology. You know what? It's almost like the, the, the oh. logical conclusion of fucking centuries of pseudoscience being used to fuck manipulate people and fucking defraud people of fucking of, 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 of money. The only place that that could fucking end was the rear end. The only <laughs> fucking logical conclusion of that, the final evolution, was people taking your money to inspect your asshole because they think that they could fucking... What is it? Telling you your future? Life Ree. advice? Ringery dry rut. Telling you, like, to stop putting things in there? Stop putting a Bowser amiibo in your butthole? I don't need a fucking rumpologist to tell me to stop putting a, ba a Bowser amiibo in my butthole. Right? My regular doctor already told me that. <laughs> All right, Whoa. and he has a fucking PhD <laughs> and a license to practice medicine. Oh my fucking god! Anal fissures. Are you ready? What do anal fissures mean? What? what did, did you want? Uh, you want to uh, keep uh, looking at the painting? Anal, uh, anal fissures are when literally. I know what they are. I'm saying, what do okay, they mean okay. in, in, in terms of rumpology? Maybe, maybe blind German clairvoyant. Wolf Beck will tell us, quote, an apple-shaped muscular bottom indicates someone who is charismatic, dynamic, very confident, and also creative, a person who enjoys life. A pear-shaped bottom suggests someone is very steadfast, patient, and down-to-earth. Why am I reading this like data? <laughs> the are... British rumpologist Sam Amos you know that's not his original name. John Stamos? The British rumpologist Sam Amos, John Stamos also uses shape to diagnose personality and claims that, quote, a round bottom indicates the person is open, happy, and optimistic in life. However, a flat bottom suggests the person is rather vain and is negative. I would not say that about Hank Hill. I would not use those words to describe Hank Hill. Did, did, did you say his name is... In addition to live readings, Jackie Stallone will perform buttock readings using emailed digital photographs and has claimed to predict the outcome of presidential elections and Oscar awards <laughs> by reading the bottoms of her two pet Doberman pinchers. They're doing it with animals! They're doing it with animals! 
Oh my god, there I do, there's a typo in here. Is his name Ulf Beck or Ulf Buck? Ulf Buck claims he can read people's features by feeling their naked buttocks. I bet he can. I bet he can. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Uncle Buck. That was a movie with uh with John Candy, I want to say, from the 80s. Fred, you know what this sounds like? Tell me. This sounds like a really good topic for our upcoming podcast. Christ, it does. You want to you want to put a pin in it and revisit yep. that for a podcast episode? Yes, yes. We you have, we go, have you semenology, we have semenology and rumpology now. We have a couple of, a couple of uh, hot topics on the docket. Um, and we are, uh, we're in the beginning phases. We have some art, uh, for our, uh, for our podcast. We're going to be doing, yeah. if you hadn't heard about this, me and Fred are going to be doing a podcast together where we talk about, uh, I say cursed topics, but some of them are inevitably going to be quite cursed. Quite cursed. But basically. Imagine like mini rabbit holes, like topics that are not nearly big enough for a down the rabbit hole episode but enough that it's amusing to discuss and and less uh in the in the kind of analytical vein and more in the we're gonna have fun with it vein you know what i mean oh yeah um fucking rumpology who fucking knew who fucking knew but yes 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 we'll get back to this we'll get back to this in another uh in in one of these one of these podcast episodes i think a full we'll do a full an anal lysis. Analyst. All right, so back to the bird boys. Um yeah. we've got I believe almost like down to every detail this to be an Australian kookaburra. Yeah. That is it's remarkable how like he has these very fantastical creatures and then is these very like accurately drawn Real animals. 1490. What chances are there that Bosch would have had the knowledge of a fucking Australian kookaburra? Uh, again, he he's pulling these from I'm like, a jerk illustrations. Off. Okay, wait. Up update. Or Kingfisher. As, as it turns no, right, out, kookaburras have larger. Um, you're right. You're right. As it turns um, out, I'm a jerk off. This is a kingfisher. a kingfisher. This yeah, is a yeah, kingfisher. Yeah. Completely, completely fucking wrong. I mean, I thought kookaburra because they had that 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 fucking massive beak, right? Yeah, I think kookaburra beaks are even bigger. Actually, even bigger than that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I think they have. Hmm. So we got a little. Uh... Oh, kookaburras are in the same group. I suppose. So we weren't that far off. Interracial right. uh, hanky panky happening and really happening like, on I, I... duck back, <laughs> duck back. I'd, li I'd like to point out. I'd like to point out, like <laughs> he. Like every, everything, everything that's happening in this. Oh, they're they're getting a load of this. Um, you have all this crazy Just shit some, happening. Like absurd, amateur, you know, people. Amateur rumpologists. Go ahead. Absurd <laughs> things. Yeah, you have all this absurd shit happening, and then he's like, "What's another absurd thing that I could put on this? I know an interracial couple." <laughs> I suppose that would have been very absurd at the time. Actually, not necessarily. The, not really. I, 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 think think in, so. I think I in I think in northern been... northern Africa there would have been a lot of uh like race mixing if you want. Yeah, I think that, that's exactly in, what I was thinking. Uh, right? Southern like, Southern Europe don't give a, people there would wouldn't have been. give a shit about this. Uh tr back then. It, it it would have been it would have been different uh than, yeah, than today it, it, in the sense that yeah, nobody would have would have cared as much, is what you're saying. Though you yeah, probably I, I, I didn't like see it I, as often, depending on what part of Europe you you were in. I think yeah, Spain, totally. it was probably something you you would see commonly. Uh, oh, all the time. Yeah. Sic Sicily, uh, Turkey, um, and obviously nor northern Africa, um, southern Italy, perhaps perhaps Greece to an extent. Um, I just really want to talk about. Why is this happening on duckback? It's, that that's yeah. And the I, duck I feel is like, like oh the, yeah, the dog, the duck's having a great oh, time. Oh, you it. know, oh you know what's going on back there. They call this the fuck duck, 
and everybody wants a ride on the fuck duck. In fact, all these people are just waiting for a turn on the fuck duck. This guy's like, oh man, I, sh I wish it was my turn on the fuck duck. When's it gonna God. be my turn on the fuck duck? God, you know what that sounds like? <laughs> that sounds like a traveling fair that <laughs> it, it rolls around and everything is completely normal on it except for one ride. That's called the fuck duck. And it's like, like the tunnel of love, but it's the rest a of it's fucking, great. Yeah. But it's a fucking pervy duck. Yeah. Or I'm I'm thinking of Joel. Gushing grannies. Gushing granny ducks? Man, this is this is fucking something else. Man, the the kingfisher is actually on the back of the duck, so does that mean it's like involved in, in, in whatever's going on here? He looks like he's having a good time with it, grabbing dat ass. Oh, I think she might be preggers too, which makes this like. I noticed that. That was actually the first thing that I noticed. Even, even, quote unquote, kinkier. What's the dude? The, you see the dude uh, in the back too. Oh, this guy's like, all right, all right. Anybody got a napkin, paper towel? It, this I hand just, is beautiful. I just nodded and. Uh, Need a little bit of help. It's kind of a, it's kind of a big one. Let me get in. Let me get a towel, paper towel, napkins. Hoot hoot. So, it's Hootie. The owl from the fountain in the. I'm not gonna go looking for that again. The owl that was inside the fountain in heaven also made an escape. Grew up, and met somebody nice. Oh, that's their hand. Yes. All right. Did you? All right. A little bit. Of... I didn't realize this. I thought it was. Like I, I, a... like I thought it was like a random hand back there. He looks less like he's hugging the owl and more like he's going, "Hey, look at the owl!" Hey, Except look at he you! Like got way and he got too way close too close. Look, it. everybody, it's an owl! <laughs> and the owl was like, per uh, 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 per "Personal space, please. Personal space. Can I get a little yeah, bit of pers owl. personal space?" Uh, well, like, 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 you know, you know, when there's a dude yelling at you on public transit and you're just like, it's just three more stops. Yeah, this is New York that's City. That's that's kind of like fucking kind. That's kind of what you're signing on for when you get on a subway. Yeah, it's, um, it's like it's like every non-white person getting yelled at by racists on public transit. It's like just three more stops, just three more stops, just three more stops. They are hover handing the owl. Yeah. Um. The owl actually looks kind of terrified. Owls always look terrified. True. Um, also, the, like owl, the owl's in the water. I don't think owls like getting wet. Owls it, are not meant... They are not meant to get They wet. are not aquatic creatures. Ants no. says, This is an uncomfortable, silent plea for help. <laughs> mm -hmm. They just really he, love owls, like, man. He's just like, Be strong. Be strong, Gertrude. Be strong for mother. <laughs> See, if this if this person was born today, they would have loved the Hooters restaurants because they're re 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 rebranding. They're putting owls at the center of every table. I don't know if you heard about this. No more fucking uh, large breasted women running around uh, scantily clad. Uh, they're doing away doing away with that. They're putting live owls in the restaurants. All joking aside, I think that. I like this owl the most out of any small detail that we've looked at so far. He's he's good, right? It's a beautiful. I think he's beautifully drawn. He's good. He's good. He's got the, uh, the, painted. the, the nice strokes on the on the uh, on the front. It's a good looking owl. And he's got a yeah. stash it's... making him a very distinguished owl. It looks floofy. It's good. It's quality. Quality owl. And then we have um the ending of Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> Listen, I work hard. I can sip all the hot cum I want. <laughs> Although it looks like he might be drinking some kind of nectar from the plant, or or definitely, it all comes tumbling congratulations. down. Congratulations! Congratulations! What's that? Oh yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> well, that you know that fucking third impact shit that with oh, the, that stuff with Ray was not in the original anime. That was the movies. Hold on, I. What's happening? Congratulations, you've won. <laughs> Congratulations. Kauru sips on plant cum. 1490. Colorized. Um, Alright. So, what else do we got? 
Oh my fucking goodness! What in God's name? What? Fred? Fred? Yeah. Fred, what is this? What is this? What am I? What am I looking at? It's. We're looking at Hampshire. I'm sorry, Hampshire. Oh fuck! Do you not know about Hampshire? What is Hampshire? Did the state New Hampshire? You don't know about Hampshire. Oh, my friend. There is a project that someone has embarked on to create a self-sustaining underwater habitat for a hamster. Like, this guy <laughs> oh, just fucking loves hamsters. That sounds and cool as fuck. I'm going to be honest with you. He's basically creating a subnautica, a subnautica base for a hamster. Yeah. Hamster. Yep, exactly. <laughs> but it, it, he's going beyond that. Like, he's testing it. He tests the That's thing great. in aquariums. But his inevitable goal is to have it in a lake. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Or at the bottom of the, like, of the ocean. Just, I, I, think, I think his goal is lake. So I'm going to... That there's that there was a really sad episode where he left someone like left one of his friends to take care of the hamster. They got a YouTube channel. Died. Yes, if you YouTube Hampshire, you'll find it. All right, Fred. I, I want to try to dissect uh, this object. It appears to be. It's a sex-powered submarine. What do you want from it? You know what? That's good enough for me. That's actually, fuck. There cannot be a better explanation than that. It is a biological, fully biological machine with some with some human uh, tweaking, okay? Uh, it is a submarine that is powered by these two people fucking in the cockpit, fuel tank, engine room, all right? They bang, power gets routed to the flower, flower power, all right? Travels through the stamen, okay, directly inside the submarine. And then things get a little bit more complicated. Um, and then there's a dude. And then, uh, I mean, okay, so tube, glass, glass tube, there's a hole in the, in the fruit. The, the guy inside can look out of the fruit. Um via a, a glass tube that is not closed off on the end because we could see the rat. The rat is halfway in the tube. The rat is halfway out the tube. Now, normally rats want to get off of a sinking ship, but this submarine is about to descend and this rat wants on it. Could it be... Could it be, Derby Pie, somehow uh, referencing the Black Plague? Because in 1490, what is Bosch attempting to say with this? What is this? What could this possibly? Again, it could just be some random fucking fever dream bullshit. All right, side effects of injecting weeds into his into his, his butthole at the advice of his rumpologist. Are they talking to each other here, Pink Rose? This is a little bit of rat, rat tattooy action. This. But right, this is what I was looking for, Mike. This th this is the first thing I thought of. We got it, it's it's a it's a SMBC comic. SMBC comic. Saturday morning breakfast cereal. Never heard of it, but let's take a look at this. It's a quality web comic. Steve Wiggins, we need your help. Our spaceship needs to get to the dinosaur planet in a hurry. It's powered by sex with Batgirl and Princess Leia at the same time. <laughs> you came to the right place, General. Why won't you tell me your teenage fantasy, she asked. I want to live up to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Oh, fucking Christ. Well, I, I got, guys, I got nothing for this. I, I don't, I don't. Sex-powered submarine is the best, the best we got. I'd also like to take a moment really quickly to... This person half-heartedly covering his junk. Wait a minute. Yeah, he doesn't Wait care if anybody sees stop. it or not. Stop. Stop. Right now. Mm -hmm. Look at the dude covering his junk. But... But the ball sack is still behind the penure. Yeah, it's back there. He's accomplishing absolutely nothing. It's... No, 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 no. You don't understand what I'm saying. 
if, if you were to put your legs over your head like that, and as, assuming that your scrotum was... Oh, you're was saying this is ana ana anatomically, this like, stupid? Yes. Like, on this person, <coughs> if this person were to stand upright, the balls are where the dick should be, and vice versa. He, he's got he's got a case like like um what lobster on the loose is saying he has a case of top ball. Well, I I'm to <laughs> top ball. He's got top ball. What? Well, uh, at least gravity is is fucking being respected here. Um, how how is he breathing? How is he breathing? He's not. Is he concerned with that? No? He's more concerned with covering his backwards junk. <laughs> the fuck? Could you... Uh, between the legs, we could have... You, could, could you imagine CBT? trying to have sex with that setup? CBT? You're, you're, going, you're going missionary. Uh -huh. Every time you try to go all the way in, your dick gets... Cr your, your balls get crushed. What the fuck? Up against this, uh, up against this woman's pelvis. He's got top ball. Every time, just... <laughs> Alright, so... In between his thighs here, there's a fruit of some kind impaled on a stick. Another common theme. The fruit is hollow and has birds inside. Okay. Bizar James and the giant peen. Bizarre. Bizarre. Very bizarre. Um, Yeah, th there is that theme of... Like, things impaled on things. Hollow fruits with things inside of them, and then th fruits being impaled on things. That is- that is everywhere. That is everywhere. Okay. Bunch of people, uh, hanging out. This one's doing a, a Disney princess song. You know, birds about to land there and start chirping during the- uh, one of the verses type of a thing. Except she hasn't slept in three days. <laughs> Very exhausted Disney, uh, Disney princess. Um, also there is a, uh, piñata? Or a very, very, a, a, a hand-painted gourd? Is it a gourd? It could be a gourd. It's a fruit. No, it's a fruit. Look. Look, it's got- What does it remind me of? Hold on, what does that remind me of? Um. Damn it, that is- Really familiar. What? There's... Oh my god. I haven't... Or it's a he. Excuse me. Um, I haven't... From a cartoon or a, or a fucking eggplant derby pie. Like a paint, like a painted eggplant. It absolutely... I see that. It's... Yeah, the... That fruit... There's... Oh, I'm sorry. Like, my brain is breaking. This is something I have not thought about in, like, over a decade. You want to spend some time on it? I'm... Let's move on. I'm I'm actually having a little bit of a freakout moment because I'm, like, trying to remember this. And it's, it's, like, I have not thought about it in so long that the memory has degraded. And all I can think is, like... Fruit that looked really juicy and tasty, but was like drawn. It was like animated. Tomate. Keep thinking about it. Was it, it was it an anime? Was it from an anime? I don't think it was an anime. I, it, it was longer ago than that, like long before I had ever seen anime. Was it Neopets? Ooh, it might have been Neopets. Was it? But I feel like... I, I feel like they were eating it. Some repressed childhood shit, Herger Traffam says. I, I get that that feeling every so yeah. often of something I'm... where it's like, what the fuck? That's, that's activating something in the back of my fucking brain that I haven't thought about since I was eight years old. Neopets neg fruit. Someone's saying neg fruit. It does look similar. But, like, the patterning was like... It, it had... A pattern on it that looked like it made it look like it was painted on. Sort Helix of. Snake wants you to Google void berry. Oh, that's not right. Void berry. Void berry. Okay, hold on. I'm doing it right now. 
No, it's not this. Fred? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't had this sensation for a very long time, and I'm kind of having a mini freak out. I'm, I don't think I was thinking about Neopets. Oh, what is... Again, hollow fruit with yep. people in it. Yep. 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 Yet again. And then there's a hollow that there's a fruit with things in it and being impaled. What's we got glass. What's this? Oops. What? What's this? It's a Pokemon. <laughs> I think it's a UFO. I'm not Can saying we... it's aliens, but what if it's aliens? Have you ever actually watched ancient aliens i have isn't it i i watched it with one of my friends and we spent the whole time shouting at the screen we were so angry oh yeah my well the, uh, don't watch ancient aliens with the fucking idea that like you're gonna walk away from it like being you know, satisfied that you were educated about it, it. It is, it is an affront and an insult to logical thought. Every fucking no, step see, of the way. What was, what was really no? It, uh, Whittler. It wasn't James and the Giant Peach. It wasn't that. Definitely. Um. I okay. So the thing is, both he and I know our Bible, right? And they keep quoting Bible passages, and we're like, "What's this bullshit?" Constantly. Well, I really enjoy the leaps in logic, like the fucking canyon wide leaps. Yes, in, in, no, in we... logic to to connect oh, to connect things that where where it's 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 just so insulting to your intelligence, but you have to be okay with it because it's phrased in the form of a question. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Where it's like, oh well, hey. They're not saying for sure. It's like, no, you just took the most unlikely fucking thing ever possible. And you fucking made a connection between two things that have nothing to do with each other. Fuck you. And then you sat there and you were like, it's aliens. Question mark? No, suck my dick. It's not aliens. <laughs> I'd like to point out, I love that dude on the right. Who's just like, hey girl, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> just God, like, yeah, brought whatever. my guitar to this, uh, to this party. I brought my acoustic guitar. I could play Wonderwall really Wonderwall? well. Wonderwall? Really exactly. Well. <laughs> so you want me to bust it out and I could play, uh, could play Wonderwall. Meanwhile, she took some fucking, like, ecstasy and has just been staring at this fucking tomato for, like, fucking 45 minutes. No, 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 no. She's pretending she took ecstasy. <laughs> yeah, dude, she's so pretending. So she doesn't have to pay attention yeah. to this fucker. <laughs> This this fucking hippie burning man fucker. Like like you know what he's saying to her? He's not offering to play Wonderwall. He's bragging to her about how many times he's been to Burning Man. <laughs> I was there for the founding uh, of Burning Man. <laughs> oh fucking hell. All right. Talk about a cute backpack. That is a furry strawberry with a tail. That has a flower that will always cover your asshole. Never have to worry about any like rumpologist sneaking any up on you, and giving, yeah. giving you, giving you a surprise reading when you don't expect it. <laughs> because this backpack will always cover your asshole with a flower, oh guaranteed. You can I can find it on our so Etsy he, shop. Here's the thing, right? Is I love um mythical beings that are somehow tied to plants right mm. like nymphs that are tied to certain flowers or fruits and i love ants like my favorite ants mythological being they're very ants ent i like i grew up i i, I grew up I'm, I'm i'm gonna get personal for 10 seconds here my like the thing that i wanted to be most was an ant well like myth <laughs> the mythical creature was an ant so i could just you actually told me like, this before was a tree or an ant yeah so i can just Put down roots next to a river and watch the world go by. For like fucking a thousand years, just sit there and think. Yeah. You'd get bored. And as soon as I get bored, I, I move. Get a because load I'm of, an ant. Get a load I have of this legs, guy. motherfucker. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> get a load of this guy. You get, you're giving her flowers? There's flowers literally everywhere. All right, we ha here we have Hi, a yeah. oh, 1490s frat party. Jog, 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 <laughs> jog, jog. 
They are <laughs> having this is the 1490s version of a beer bong. It's just a weird fucking fruit because what else is it going to be in this painting? I, I right. so I realized uh, someone was asking if I'm the down the rabbit hole Fred, and I'm like, I realized there are probably a lot of people in chat that don't know. Hi, I'm Frederick Newton. I make down the rabbit hole. That's that's true. He is, and he does. That's a next fact. episode is coming really soon. The script is like one or two days worth of work away from being done. Sick today linked the. Uh, I was just going to ask you to do that. Sick, thank you. There's uh, Fred's Twitter account and YouTube channel. Aww. Um, thank you. do you want to give him a little taste of this next video? What it's about? Who it's about? Um, I'm not going to say who it's about, but I will say that it is on an internet, uh, a fallen internet figure. A fallen I'm, I'm internet almost... celebrity type person. It's... It's probably going to be over an hour and a half long, and I'm sort of making it as an apology for my DSP and Spoonie videos for going over them in like so um, sensational over them so well, much. Oh well, you, no, yeah, not, right, not sensational. Right. You left I, a I lot out, is what you're saying. Yeah. The the problem was I skimmed over a ton of stuff, and with this one, I want to get more into the details. So it's sort of this a. This looks like it's going to be his longest runtime video. Am I right? Yeah. This is probably going to be my longest video yet. We're not going to say who it was, but I will say that Fred messaged me at one point on Discord, and he goes, "I, I, you know, I really want to just like have a chat with you uh, about this person because it, it's it's fascinating how this person is so ag aggressively depressing." I said aggressive. I, I've called them aggressively depressing and aggressively pathetic. Aggressively, with the word when you messaged me, you said aggressively, aggressively depressing. depressing. Yeah, like that, that, that is how like I described. Like depression in, in incarnate. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck, it's Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> well, how can you be depressed yeah, when actually, you're at a frat party and you have somebody balancing Pac-Man cherries on her head? I ask you. Fuck yeah, she's like, hey guys, my cherries are up here. <laughs> That dude is being fed a bit of fruit by a duck. Now, this is the type of thing that does not oh take dear. that does not take place unless copious amounts of alcohol have been consumed. All right, this man again hanging out inside of a, a giant hollow fruit. All right, the, which which has an arm, which has an arm, which has an arm, an arm that is stroking oh, stroking a giant fish, who is looking a is little bit. Uh, is out horrified of, uh, at uh, that person's shins. Kind of seems to be like, you know, something that doesn't belong here. I guess you could say it's a fish out of water. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'd fuck, like to fuck, point out fuck, that the fucking, concept... Fucking deal with it. Yeah. The concept of someone's pet duck feeding them, like... Well, or, like, getting them food sounds like it could potentially be cute i don't know about mouth feeding i don't know if that could ever be cute well i mean he's a cute duck i i do have he's to you, you gotta admit so this is yeah, a, this is a cute that is duck. an adorable duck and he's feeding a a tomato like a cherry tomato to um this person who's hanging out inside the hollow fruit uh you know for fun he doesn't need that to happen he has his own but uh they're they're doing this because i think it's a, i think it you know what this is a frat initiation she, you have to oh, take yeah. the fucking the, the the frat mascot, all right? Fucking slappy mallard or whatever the fuck they're calling this duck, all right? You got to fucking drink you have a, a, a keg by yourself while you're in the hollow fruit. All right? And you have to do it within an hour. One keg by yourself. <laughs> this is how you get this is how you get into the frat. <laughs> while somebody one of your other initiates holds up the duck with their fucking feet while it feeds you the cherry. See, this is the kind of initiation ritual. And they have to be wearing me... egg paper mache. God, what the fuck is that? Frat initiation I... that makes you. Oh, okay, okay. So. There are some groups that have these initiation rituals, right? And some of them can be very dangerous yeah. or have certain effects. So, yeah. about that. Look, I'm my train of thought just com got completely derailed by what's happening in the upper right hand corner right now. Did that help you? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get I'm to it. Back on. Okay, we will. Um, but you just think, right? Is like the initiation ritual is drink a whole bottle of vodka. 
Yeah, no, well, alcohol, that's alcohol brain poisoning. Da- that yeah, is, no, it's that is brain damage. Yeah, like so, what you end up with is a frat house full of people who have had their brains damaged by drinking <laughs> a whole like bottle guys. of alcohol in an hour and a half. That sounds like this, frat this bros is, in my experience. This is my yeah. theory. I have a similar theory about ancient Rome, right? Like mm-hmm. everyone says, oh, Rome fell because women got rights or like Rome fell because like do, like all of these social things. My theory. So are you aware of the origin of Ambrosia? Uh, like the... the or how at least how it was defined i'm pretty sure it's called ambrosia it's an, it's it an in, ambrosia. intoxicant of, of sorts right uh, no what they would do is to uh, they the romans learned that lead is very uh, sweet uh, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. and so they would take little flakes of lead and sprinkle it in their wine mm-hmm this was the upper class doing this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The people responsible for holding the, the whole society. The entire together. upper class was drinking wine with lead chips in it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Y- that, you can say, it oh, help. Rome fell because women got rights. It didn't help. But I, w- I, you are going to have to convince me that women getting rights is somehow more harmful to a society than the entire up- upper class eating lead on a regular basis a lot of people bring, uh, blame blame Chris, Chris, <laughs> a lot of people blame christianity what do you think of that theory i i i think it has more to do with the lead, uh, lead poisoning among, with, with like, the political every, situ- with the political situation with because they were in a really shitty spot uh, militarily um especially with the treaties that they had and everyone around them it it's a lot more the fall of Rome was very much them getting invaded <laughs> and losing all their territory and not being able to handle the territory that they had taken. Anyway, Fruit it, it's, the, the, the truth of Rome falling is actually like really boring if you're talking about social commentary. <laughs> Yap! Yap! God, he is into it. <laughs> this is that my, is a... This is, is mine. <laughs> I'm going to eat this all by myself. <laughs> Uh, he's fucking stones. This is this is this is a Bosch self insert. Actually, is what this is. This is Bosch <laughs> with the with, with the fuck with the munchies. Bosch, why are you running around with a flower on your head? What are you high? Yes, very very high, very high. <laughs> can we can we get to the thing that derailed my thoughts? All right, I'm happy. Let's I move see on. some flowers in your future. <laughs> oh no! All right, so sometimes Th- this, is, this is just sometimes, a- another form of rumpology. Sometimes your asshole smells so bad that you have to put flowers in it to mask the stench. Right? Here's the thing, right? If if someone on Discord sent me a gif trying to shock me of like someone getting flowers rammed up their ass it's yeah. like oh well that's weird it's like you know delete the message or block them or whatever what's more concerning to me what is happening with that guy's neck oh yeah oh that oh that's no good yeah oh. oops ow what is <sighs> oh that's no good cuz he like cuz the only way i can see this being a thing is if his head, like, you, you know how the head sits, like, 90 degrees to the neck? What if it was just straight ahead? Like, straight forward? Like, That's what's happening here. Like, it's, it's, his, it's n- the guy's neck. Like, if you were to cut off the head and rotate it so the face is just coming out of the stump of the neck. Yeah, that is, uh, that is some fucking body horror shit. That is some fuck. Flowers in his ass. Flowers in his ass. Kanye West likes flowers in his ass. Hey. So, what? Right, because I want. I was getting to that. Somebody, somebody it's just said, a- oh, this guy <laughs> thought wiping was gay. 
A real it's man doesn't spread his cheeks for anything, not even to clean the shit out of it after taking a dump. I was there. I was watching your yeah. stream. Yeah, you were that there. We, you, you were talking there for that, about right? that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was. So this oh, is that. This is that. God. This is that guy's wife trying to like correct the behavior in any any way she can. Yeah, it's just like it's like Rupert, if you. If you don't start wiping your ass and get rid of that stink, I'm gonna shove flowers up it. Fuck you, Miranda. You ain't gonna let like, me dirty I'm... out. I'm gonna do that. You gotta do that. Don't do that. Wipe my ass out for goddamn homosexuals. Tell your foot. And, and then you see, then like this, and then this argument and this whole kerfuffle is like happening at a party, and you see the friend off on the right that's just like, yeah, I can't, I can't keep doing this with them. I can't, I can't keep. Yeah, in fact, that being friends, that thing that they people, they're exhausting. That thing that they have on their head is like their happy place. Like that's to escape the fucking idiocy of their fucking yeah. It's their, from their friends. Midsommar. It's, it's I need to see Midsommar. How is that? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know what that is. A movie? Oh, it, it's a it's a movie. Yeah, that came out. The recently. Depression Cone. The Depression, <laughs> the depression Cone. cone. And he's like, listen, come on, it's not all that bad. You could be friends with all these other people who suck. Like, these are some really. Why are there glass tubes? Everywhere? Like what? Like, <laughs> like weird boob lady. <laughs> like, he painted on these boobs late later, lady. Also, she seems to have a lot of body hair. Do you know? Oh no 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 the no no! Body you hair. You know what this is? You know what this is? I know exactly what this is. What is it? This is. You'll know what I'm talking about when I send it to you. Fred, this. what the fuck is this? This. No, let go. Go, go back up to the. Tits. Oh, That's this is this is. is uh, fuck. I, I, you know, I never watched this video of yours. <laughs> I actually, I never watched this video of yours. It's Empress Teresa. Empress Teresa. Empress Teresa. <laughs> What's up with those boobs? Um. Yeah. Anyway. Norman, this is not how breasts work. What? Uh, what's? What's this? Any idea what this is about? Some more bongs? They're just chilling. No, they're they're in the cave. They're in the orgy cave. Do, do, do you think cave, that there yeah. needs to be like a designated fuck cave when this entire painting is people fucking on top of ducks and to power submarines, and in fucking weird Kama Sutra positions? Like, do you really think it's necessary? To fucking you still to have fuck in the, in the safety of a cave, like you're afraid somebody's gonna see you and care. No, no, you have you have. Have you seen anyone fucking in this painting? I think it was have implied. You, have you seen P I B or P I V anywhere or P I M? What is what is or this glass? What is this glass Just shit? What is this sexual? To be? Unless you count sodomizing with flowers. Which I guess you could technically say yes, but <laughs> flowers in his ass. You know what I could go for? A nice tall glass of refreshing bird. Just bird. bring me a fucking wine glass with a bird in it, a live bird, no liquid, just a live bird. Yeah, ah, and you're, like you're not even drinking it. You're just you're just standing there at the party with a cup of bird being like yes, a cup of bourbon. Yes, <laughs> bird it, bourbon. I hate it, you motherfucker. <laughs> Oh man, that that is the the taste of summer. I I tell you. Oh, so they're they're crowded around a weird tent. Uh, a weird tent, maybe an outhouse. Maybe this is the um. Having flashbacks to Mord House, seeing that kind of tent. This is the uh the the, the, the little the little poop poop tent, which it's a big surprise people are fucking in it. Uh, somebody is passing by with the giant fish. They're like, hey, where are you going with that fish? Oh, I'm bringing it over to the frat party. You want to come? Yeah, just as soon as we're, <laughs> we, you know, we wrap up the pooping and sex. All right, see you over there. It's going to be a wild time. Can't wait. All right, thanks, Brenda. And the fish is like, ah, help. He, they, he's about to be put in the fish tube. <laughs> Get him put in the fish tube. Oh, please, God, no, not the fish tube. Anything but the fish, the fish tube. Cannon. And then on top of the building, there's a oh, weird shit. little fruit with, with fucking people in it. Oh, dear God. Oh, no, no, Where no. Where are he, bodies? They don't have any. 
Here's okay. The, here's the fuck I'm tent. I'm glad we worked that out. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You can actually see. They're peeking into it. Oh, they, they are peeking into it. A little bit of voyeurism happening here. They want to watch booty. these people poop. Yeah. And blueberry head, man. This is a fruit. And another. This is a fruit sona, chat. Why is there a fruit sona in the Iron Nymus Bosch paint? Oh, my fucking God. It doesn't end. Guys, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. There's a fruit sona in the Bosch painting. There is a fruit sona. <laughs> Iron Nymus Bosch predicted early 90s Gushers commercials. Oh, no. <laughs> there is an alternate God. universe where furries never took off. And fruit sonas were a thing. They were I, all the rage. I think I prefer this universe. Also, again, a very well-drawn owl. Very, very well-painted owl. Now, he's inside of a flower. No, no he's not. I, I don't think so. I, th it's there's a, a dude inside of the or flower. Or he's on top of the flower? The owl is sitting... Uh, he's standing. He sees he's got his footer wrapped around that vine. This is evocative of a, a Hindu god. It is. Ganesh, I think? Well, I mean, almost every god in that pantheon is multi-limbed. Do you know well, what? Do you know? Well, that's just the way they're depicted, but do you know why? That, yeah, they have multiple arms, do you, yeah. Do you know why? Four. I was right. Four arms. Ganesh. Do you know? Well, I've seen depictions of Ganesh with six. That varies. Yeah, do, you're do, right. You're do, right. Do, do you know why they do that? Tell me. Do I get to fucking be, know something that Fred Dudson doesn't? Is that, is that what you think of me? Uh, I'm the dude that knows things. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I think that of you. Yes, yes. I'm like, I'm like a less interest. Oh, I just realized I I'm like a less I does, interesting. Does anybody not think that about him? Does anybody Is not? Is that my reputation? It's a, it's a fucking okay. You could be known as the guy who fucking has a, a foot piss kink. That could be you your know reputation. So I think suddenly, I think you're you're ahead of the fucking game, dude. I'm suddenly more appreciative of this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at I And if you fuck, don't know well, something if you don't know something, you go find out about it. Now the reason that the, the, the Hindu <laughs> gods are depicted with multiple <laughs> limbs is because if you notice in most cases, the hands at the end of each arm are either holding something or are making some kind of symbol with their fingers. Yes. Now the reason for that is every item that these gods hold is an, as is an aspect, an aspect of the gods' mythology. Right? Yeah. Like what? you might see, and I'm making one up because I can't think of any right now. The god is holding scales because the god is known for justice, or the god is holding money. Because, or gold, because that god is known for prosperity. Like, you pray to that god if you want, like, business success, which would be Ganesh, actually. Yeah, actually, um, um that was a uh, part of the Finger Family videos. Yes, Ganesh yes, it was. specifically. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. That's why, and I pointed that out to you after I watched that video, there would be, yeah, in, inexplicably, think... there would be an image of Ganesh, like, in the first 10 seconds of the video, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, that um, was... not, not, yeah, in the first 10 seconds of the video, but also at the beginning, like, the first video that these channels would upload. That was the fucking, the, the, because those were Hindus who were saying, I'm, I'm asking Ganesh to bless this, this fucking yeah. business endeavor. I'm going to try to make money yeah. with this YouTube channel. <laughs> B bless this children's scam. This the scam. Bless my scam. All right. So, moving on. You ever get weird with birds and feet? I like your birds around your feet. <laughs> I like your birds around your feet. Yeah. Like that bird perched to top your foot. <laughs> Trying to bite that berry while you stretch your hammies in the grass. <laughs> yeah, you, that's real country. Have you, have you seen, have you heard the version of that song that's just... I like your pants around your feet just over and over. And I, then I th remixed. somebody, I think, linked me that at one point. I like your feet around your pants. <laughs> around your pants. So, feet, pants. What? Um, pants, feet. What is this? this? Some I, flesh fruit? Uh, an odd modern sculpture and 
14, a, a modern sculpture in the medieval era. And a big old fucking cup of probiotic yogurt topped off with a very healthy muscle. <laughs> Served on a muscle. <laughs> go, go, on to, go on to the We Want Plates subreddit. Oh, and then there's that person in a clam. Yeah, why don't you take a closer? Why don't you take a closer look? We've come all the way back around to the fuck sub. Yeah, and yeah, there is a pearl that is like. There are pearls inside of the clam. There, there's just a boot. Oh, and they're fucking. Yeah, there's people oh, fucking, fucking, fucking in there. It's there, either there, people there fucking. Fuck it's either people fucking in there or uh, a person with three feet. Now, if they're, if if they're not fucking, they're about to. If this shell's rocking, don't come a knocking. Guys, you, this is how pearls are made. They are um, ejected from a lady's anus after um, the man pees on her, and that's how that's how sex works. Okay, moving on. Moving on. We are gonna get yeah. We to, became full circle. Oh. Uh, some of my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the painting. First of all, feast, my children. Yes, feast. that is feast, my children. Feast. That is freaky. Feast. Look at them. They look like they look like they're suffering. And check this out. They are suffering. They're definitely suffering. Look at them. They're fucking like they're all like pasty and shit. You know, but they want the fucking forbidden fruits of the big cute bird. Right? Now, mm -hmm. this chick is like, hey, those fruits look pretty delish. And this guy's like, no, no, you don't want those fruits. Trust me. No, 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 no. No. I've seen the behind the scenes. I know how the sausage is made. Well, I mean, I know how the, the fruit is made. You don't want nothing to do with those fruits. All right? There's some 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 really good fruit over there. We could get a bite of some of some of that, some of that fruit down there. You know that all those other people are <laughs> are are enjoying, you know, while they swim around in the in in the lake. This is the creepiest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Why are there Dude, a bunch of fucking people naked in a lake fucking chomping on a giant fucking blueberry which they are being they're being fed that blueberry by these mm -hmm. people who are in... Why don't, you, why don't you guess what they're inside of? Friday. All of fruit. <laughs> and his leg's just sticking out. It's like he somebody... kicked a hole. Somebody he got... kicked a hole. The guy was in there, and he was annoyed about the shoddy craftsmanship of the fruit. So in order to prove a point, he angrily kicked it and put his foot through it, and now it's stuck in there. Mm hmm he can't get it out, and he's too drunk to figure out how to get his foot back out. Ugh, voice crack. I mean, please, just, just, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck? I, what the I, I fuck? also, I, I have, I have a theory here. I have a theory here. You ready yes, for this? feast, my, so, my children, feast. Y you see, you see the, you see the couple, like, the couple we were saying, like, don't, don't take the fruit up there. Yeah. That face on that man looks very familiar. What is what else does that remind you of in this painting? Are you going to say Jesus? Yeah. You think he looks like you know, Jesus? You know you know what the deep lore is? Yeah, go back to Jesus, take a look. It's like they copy pasted his face. So, you're saying Bosch did a little bit of a control C control V? No, he no, he, here's here's my deep lore in this painting. On the so on the left, we have the way that like this cult leader sees himself right like oh look at me i'm like this amazing wonderful person yeah and like i you know i i have people supplicating to me and on the right it's what the cult leader looks like to everyone else he's just macking on his like on his daughter as like th with the cult around him i think he's trying to like, now he's in a place where he's vainly trying to stop everybody from committing evil, right? Is this Eve? Is that... Wait a minute. Yeah, Someone in chat made a point. That. Is that Eve? Let's take a good a good look at that. Look at the hair, because you made a point I about I the did. It crimped, was crimped hair. It was crimped. That's the same person. That's her. Fuck. That's her. That's absolutely her. Holy shit. That's absolutely her. What the fuck? And he's trying to stop her from taking the forbidden fruit of the... Or is... Of this, or of is this he? Like, really what? fucking adorable borb. 
It's like, trip, trip. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I, I feel like I'm in an ARG now. Yeah. This Keep an like... eye open. Keep an eye open as we go. Jazz hands. Jazz Adam is on the hands. bird. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Lamango is saying Adam's on the bird. You think that's Adam? Wait, is for that his, Adam? Wait for his go, turn go, on the fuck duck? Compare wait for his turn yeah, on the compare him. All right, yeah, so get, compare. Get a good look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the hair is what I'm really looking at. Perhaps. Uh, perhaps, I don't know. Perhaps, because we can't no, see the, the curls. No, the hair is different. We can't see the curls in the, in the back. Can see the, yeah. No, we can't see the curls in the back. I think, I think the hair is different. But yeah. yeah. It, was a good, it, was, it was a good observation. I need to go AFK for just a minute, uh, but I'll be back really soon. Um, you know, why don't we why don't we all take a break? Um, I'm actually break, like break. I'm gonna get a quick a quick nosh. You want to call it like a five minute break? Yeah, sure. All right. In the meantime, um, I, I might come back a little bit later. Go ahead and start without me. I have if I come back and you're not here, I'll get started without you. But in the meantime, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have another piece of art for you to look at while I'm gone. It's called Nep Nep. ASMR, please enjoy. We are the Get Stuff Done Generation. We don't use hashtags, we use do tags because we do things and we do them in a complicated and difficult way in spite of modern luxuries putting ourselves through unnecessary hardship to prove some kind of point. That's why each one of our stores is a cold, brutish, utilitarian place where dreams go to die, to the point where parents bring their kids here as a form of punishment. We don't have time for anything but bare concrete and open rafters because we're too busy getting things done. Someone once responded to me saying that by asking if I was aware of the irony in it, and I punched him in the fucking neck because I don't know what the word irony means. More orcs, more Mordor. That's the power of Helm's Depot. Oh, hey. Have you seen my friend, Cum Cum? Her name is Kumpa, but since she calls me Nap Nap, and I never agreed to that nickname, I call her Cum Cum. How? Mmm. She's such a fucking bitch. I hate her. Oh, this? Mm. This is herring. Raw herring. It's delicious. But it's so much better with yogurt. And that whore, Kampa, has all the yogurt. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking for this bitch. Let me know if you see her. Sure, you can go to a Swedish furniture store and buy some limp dick Lego set after school project. But that's not what real men do. Real men can't even find Sweden on a fucking map. This is the era of real men. The era of the DIY men. Real men watch some YouTube tutorials and build a life-size replica of Cherry from Pee-wee's Playhouse from scratch. For a limited time, save on giant terrifying teeth and googly eyes. Let the Bernie bros and the gays have their weird meatballs. More googly eyes, more ass eating. That's the home of Deep Power. Hey, it's me again. I still can't find Kumpa. It's like Thanos activated the Infinity Gauntlet, and she was on the wrong side of the 50%. You know, I get a lot of shit for this, but I think Thanos really had the right idea, you know? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Listen, do you know how many people died in World War II? 60 million. <laughs> Could you imagine how overpopulated the world would be right now if that didn't happen? And all the 
those people reproduced? How? We would be well over the threshold of what most sociobiologists believe is the maximum carrying capacity of the planet. Now, I'm not saying we should just start killing people, but... Oh, there's Kumpa. I'll be right back. At Comdelpo, we're in the business of getting things done. We're in the business of taking care of business. We're so busy with business that we don't have time to do our business. That's why Deeper Homo stores don't have bathrooms or plumbing. This is the DIY generation. And sometimes do-it-yourself means popping a squat in the lumber section and laying down some fresh hot logs. Shit on the floor. Let's do this. More pooing, more doing. That's the pooer of Home Depot. Okay, I'm back, and I got the yogurt. Hum. Mm. Mm. Oh. <coughs> so like I was saying, I think some kind of forced sterilization may be the answer. Look, I don't like it any more than you do, but this planet is on a collision course with disaster. And if we want to avoid famine and wars over potable water, this is the only way to go. Mm. Mm. Now, now, I don't expect people to give up their reproductive rights so easily. So I'm thinking that we might have to do it subversively. Like... Mm. Maybe putting something in the water supply. Excuse me. Bones. <laughs> it's very fresh. Yep, yep. Are you talking to strangers about your Thanos kink again? And listen, Kumpa, you dumb slut. Thanos is hot, but that's not why I agree with him. He makes sense. His motivations make sense. He's not wrong. He committed genocide in that movie, Nap Nap. Jesus Christ, Kumpa, spoilers! What if they didn't see it yet? Ugh, whatever. Let's go. I don't even remember why we came here. Okay, I'm out of here. Nice to meet you. Consider not having children. Look, lots of us want to smack our wife in the mouth with a 2x4, but not all of us intend to kill her when we do so. That's why the Home Delpot has everything you need to hide your wife's corpse behind three layers of drywall. For a limited time, buy one get one free on fast drying spackle in case you want to do it while she's still alive, like a fucking Edgar Allan Poe novella. More murder, less consequences. That's the power of Deep Doo-Doo. Tim! Hey, Tim! 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 Yeah, Pikachu? Time is a flat circle. W what does that mean? It means I'm drunk, Tim. Very, very drunk. So, you want to be the very best, eh, Rook? Yes, sir. The best there ever was. Kid. It took him about two weeks to scrape what was left of my last partner off the asphalt, a block away from here. How's that make you feel? How's it supposed to make me feel? Uh. 
alive. All cards be advised, we got an APB out for a Red Corvette PR1 last year. Clean the scene of a thing out going east on Park Avenue. Uh, Polo, over. I got him. <laughs> Did you oh crack God. your pants? Uh, maybe a little. Christ! Just shut up and crack a window. Officer Golem, use rollout. I got this. There it is, Tim. The vilest, most toxic, destructive, life-ruining garbage out there. They call it R. Detective P. Kachu, you're in serious trouble. You arrested the new mayor's son on mere suspicion. Remember a little something called probable cause? Kamish, there was one dot to connect to put that punk in the middle of this R thing. I was doing my job. You can't do this. Don't you know who my daddy is? That don't matter because tonight it's me. Listen, I already lost one friend to this epidemic. I'm not about to sit around and wait to lose more. Toxicology came back. The coke was laced with R. Lethal dosage. I'm sorry, detective. Not as sorry as they're gonna be. My leads are the only ones that don't get investigated. You need to let go of these conspiracy theories. You've presented no evidence of corruption. Because you won't let me get any. Cause you're pissing away our time and resources. Meanwhile, you've gotten nowhere with the serial murders. We're looking for Snorlax? Was he a great big fat thing? The Vic was boxed in and suffocated by reflect walls. No murder weapon, no prints, no leads. Exactly like the Mr. Mime murders from a few years back. Probably worth paying him a visit, Tim. As soon as you're done there, take your time. We're trying our best. There's a lot on our plate. Then drop the R investigation. How about I drop this instead? You can say goodbye to your pension. I'm off the force, but I'm still on the case. You are gonna be my eyes and ears on the inside. Well, gee, okay, Pikachu. All right, what we gotta do is follow the supply. Tonight, we're going undercover. Stay frosty. But it's 80 degrees out. Shut the fuck up, Tim. Yo, what up, Pimpan? I see you brought the pack mule like we discussed. Was hoping for a lady, but this is close enough. <laughs> that's not nice. <laughs> Yo, get a load of this. Oh, that's not nice. Yellow man salad show, bitch. Tim. They're not gonna trust us unless you put the drugs up your ass. Well, why can't you do it? Because I got hemorrhoids the size of golf balls, Tim. That's why. Stay on this job long enough and you will too. Now get stuffing. I gotta go take care of something. I'll see you later. <laughs> Pikachu? It's Pikachu. You know what to do. Pikachu? It's me, Tim. I'm, uh, seeing colors and stuff, and my heart's beating really fast. I think one of those packages broke open in my butt. Uh, when are you coming back? Hey, Tim. You ever have your sheet? Oh, in, man!
can smell your cunt. Hello, Timothy. Usually, I'm the one putting up the glass walls. It's been several years, and I'm still not quite used to it. Sometimes I imagine I could simply... wave it away. A copycat? I suppose I should be flattered. I could certainly assist for a price. Your feet, my dear. Let's see them. Are you fucking kidding me? You called me for that? Show me your feet! I don't know, Pikachu. It's kind of weird. Damn! I have a bullet lodged in my shoulder right now. Show him your goddamn feet! My, you have the feet of a man who has done very little manual labor. I confess I was going to spend weeks toying with you psychologically. But in light of these gorgeous perambulatory pleasures, I'm afraid we must cut to the chase. In exchange for my full cooperation, I should very much like to eat one of your toes, Timothy. Pikachu, he wants one of my toes. Give him a pinky toe. Those are useless. But you need those for balance. Give him the fucking toe, Tim. My goodness, Timothy. Your toe is delectable. I should very much like to have a second helping. Or nine. Pikachu, this is gonna sound impossible. But DNA tests came back on the saliva we found on Snorlax's feet. It's not a copycat. Exact match for Mr. Mime. That twisted son of a bitch is in deep lockdown. Someone with serious pull must be letting him off the leash. But why? There's more. Snorlax was a mid-level R distributor. But it turns out he was also on the commission's payroll as an informant. Christ! How many people knew about that? As far as I was able to find out, it was the commissioner, the mayor, and now you and me. Better play this close to the... Smith? 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 Smith! I've just amended that list, detective, and I'll be doing so again when you least expect it. Not if I get to you first, you creepy bargain bin bozo fuck! Better hurry. Your little piggy partner doesn't have many little piggies left. Hope you enjoyed the appetizers, cause the main course is gonna be a monster round from my magnum... Magnum. Very well. Come catch me. What? Who's there? What? Uh, What's up, scumbag? Detective, what are you- I hear you're into water sports, Kamish. You ever try water boarding? No more. Please, it's the mayor. He's running the show. So I was right all along. This R thing goes all the way to the top. Thanks, Kamish. I told you what you wanted. You gonna let me? Holy shit! Thirty years on my grill. Y'all trying to kill me? You killing me, man? I'm coming, Tim.
to fight the rising odds. Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery sea? Play the night, toss and turn, and dream of what I need. I need a hero. Hold it out for a hero till the end of the night. He's got to be strong, and he's got to be fast, and he's got to be fresh from the fire. Become a cop, they said. You'll get good benefits, they said. Oh crap! Um, I'm here to fix your fax machine. Hi, is this human resources? Yes, it's me again. Somebody took my stapler right off my desk. It was a red swing line stapler. It's gonna take the Superman to sweep me off my feet. I need a hero. I need a hero. Hold it out for a hero till the end of the night. He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast. He's gotta be fresh from the fire. Chaperone. Let's get this over with. I need a hero! Time to cool off, asshole. Oh, oh my god, it burns! Boy, it burns! Tim! Pikachu, help! I've only got two toes left! You're going down, clown! By my count, you're out of bullets. A shame. Well, by my count, you're out of PP. And you forgot the one in the chamber. Oh dear. Ya pika pika kaye, motherfucker. Took you long enough. Give me one good reason not to put a bullet between your eyes right now. Certainly. Detective, I'm a civil servant. Democratically elected by citizens who knew full well what they were voting for. This city has proved over and over the kind of place it wants to be. My job is to oil the machine. All I'm doing is keeping those gears greased and lining my pockets in the process like damn near everyone else in this town. When you took down El Diablo, you created a power vacuum. Someone had to fill the void, and trust me when I tell you this city could have done a lot worse than me. You kill me here tonight, and you simply reopen the vacuum. Better the devil you know, my friend. The morgue is running out of places to put all the bodies the devil I know is responsible for. What could be worse? You're fucking crazy! You think I'm crazy? What I think is truly insane is when people fight reality, instead of finding a way to make it work for them. Now, I'm willing to offer such an opportunity to you. Haven't you suffered enough, detective? Are you ready to finally come into the fold? How, how do I know I can trust you, Pikachu? Oh, but I am the one who must know if I can trust you. Shoot your partner. I'm tired, Tim. I'm so 
tired. And we're back. Uh, you took a shit, Wonderful. didn't you? No, I actually called my grandfather. Oh, was he taking a yeah. shit? Uh, not this time. Um, I'm sorry. That was that wasn't the, the right thing to ask. Uh, it's funny because he came back like the second that video ended. It was perfect. Yeah. The timing was unbelievable. I showed them. Uh, well, you saw it was the Detective Pikachu video that you that you worked on. You were Tim. Do you put yes, that on your I, on your resume? Like you put that in like your your reel of like things that you that you've done when you're trying to like impress people with yeah, your talent. Well, like you show them you show them that when I when 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 I applied to become a police detective, they saw it, they spat in my face and called me a gay fag. Oh, Tim, you don't want to use the I, F word, Tim. I really, Tim, you're yeah, Tim, I you're mean, ru you're, I, ruin they, you're ruining my life, I told Tim. them, I told them that. God I damn also it, told Tim. Them Tim, that they're going to make you go, that, they're going to make you go for sensitivity training at the precinct, Tim. I, but I'm not the one that said that. That, I, and I tried to explain to them, like, that's Tim, not really Tim, an insult. Tim, that, you make it, that, you make it my life really hard right now, Tim. All right. But it's a tautology. It's a tautology, Pikachu. You're making my life all fucked up, Tim. Okay, a partner is supposed to support his partner. All right, not run around telling stories about their kinks getting spit on by people. All right. Tim, we're supposed to be professionals. All right, professionals don't act like that. All right, get Pikachu. your shit together. All right, get your shit together, Tim. Please. I'm trying. I only have two toes Try left, harder. though. All right, and we'll grow the toes back with uh, CRISPR. I think you could, <laughs> could do that <laughs> with CRISPR. Could you imagine the sort of horrific things that would come out of designer Pokemon using CRISPR? Uh, I don't like have the to. Mistakes. I, I, I don't have to imagine them, Fred, because I'm looking at Ironimus Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights, which has things <laughs> that are way more horrifying than what you just said. Um, for example, Butterfree, a, 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 a terrifyingly realistic Butterfree. <laughs> um, this is the Again, type of like thing that will just eat your face. This has more in common with Stephen King's The Mist than any butterfly that I've seen in reality. Like, you've seen Stephen King's The, like the Mist movie, right? I, that is, like, one of the movies on my Watch Tomorrow list. Uh, that should be on your watch, like, right now list, is, as in, like, like we'll just end the stream so we can watch it, because that's one of my top <laughs> five favorite movies of all time. I love that movie. Look at this motherfucker. Butterfree, though! Wasn't there an episode of the Pokemon anime where, like, Butterfree was gonna die, but fucking Ash, like, had to rush him to the Pokemon Center? But then that happened with, like, every other Pokemon that he owned. That was, like, every episode of that anime. Am I Am I wrong? Yeah, just letting Pokemon go. Like a Pokemon was gonna die. Oh no, that okay. That was the thing with Butterfree. Butterfree needed to to be free, so he, he released. To be free. But yeah, like he released the Pokemon. He, like, why did he release the Pokemon? What was the? It was like some convoluted reason. To mate. Um, to mate. Yeah, guys, when it you was mating season. when you release Pokemon like from the computer, they're not like running out into the wild. They get deleted, like they get executed. You're not you're not releasing them into the wilderness. Like they die, they're dead. <laughs> you like, remember in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle when, like, you didn't want to chow anymore, you could send it off into the forest? I didn't play and, that like, game, but really? Oh my god, if you, if, if I'm gonna you can play get it. rid of a chow, you can get rid of a, don't, it's not good. Um, you, 
get rid of a chow Oops. and it has this little drawing of a chow with a bindle walking <laughs> into the forest. Oh, you're like a scumbag. They make you feel real bad about it. No, see, here's the thing. Like, they sort of kind of try to make you feel better by being like, he is going off to have a good life. And it's just like my immediate reaction because I never could stomach to let any of my chow go. No. I, and I, th they would say, oh, you're like, your chow will have a good life. And I'm just like, no, it fucking won't. He's, Don't bullshit he, he, me. With a I bindle, know what I'm He's doing. going to have a good life, but he's walking away with a bindle. You just sentenced that thing to a lifetime of like fucking begging in the streets and like eating out of dumpsters. And the chow mm -hmm. is crying and looking back in the picture. Jesus. Mm hmm. It is not okay. So, you show people the Detective Pikachu video when you don't want to get the job, is what you're saying. Oh, a bindle is like, uh, y you know, the cloth that's tied around the end of a stick that's carrying things that, like, homeless people or travelers use to carry. I'm sure you've seen it. I don't in, think like, that anybody actually does that anymore. Sack they, on a they, stick. They, yeah. they just fucking, like, when they want you to immediately understand that the character being depicted is homeless they just fucking give give him a bindle like guys yeah. i was watching the donkey kong cartoon again because i can't stop looking at it because it's like a fucking train wreck and there's an episode where like donkey kong gets banished from like the dk crew and he he leaves with the, with the bindle they gave him a bindle like donkey kong has a bindle and i'm like what's in the bindle bananas you can fucking just pick bananas yes. off the trees, asshole. You don't print anything in that bindle. You don't have shit in that bindle. You, you are a gorilla. <laughs> gorilla. This fucking butterfly is going to pollinize, like, your face. Like, this is this is scary. Uh, also, this bird, who I want to point out, similarly to the other bird, uh, is feeding the masses. There's kind of like a gorge... Filled with humans, like a fuck, there's like a human, a human ravine. Like they're just all jammed into this pit, probably like they're, they're like, they're peas. Oh fuck, like you, they're, like, you, did you ever play Spec Ops The Line? No. Um, there, there's, what well, one of the big moments in it, um, is there are people inside of a sort of miniature cannon, and you have to fire like fucking napalm on them. Jeez, that's and, fucked up. They and yeah, you you don't realize that they're civilians until you like make your way across the field and you realize, oh, I just murdered a fuck ton of civilians. And you're walking past their like charred corpses, like it's awful. They show you that shit. Oh, excuse me, not napalm, white phosphorus. White phosphorus. Excuse me, that is yeah, much much worse. Yeah, that's pretty rough. You think it's a shit pit? Like, you think this is, like, a fuck, like, a latrine trench? And, like, these people are just in it because, like, they gotta go. Because, obviously, as you can see, the tent is occupied. By, okay. How many people, human beings, do you think can fit in this tent? Tops. Less, like... Tops. I mean, if you really mushed people... Oh, but the, the problem is that it comes up to a point. Yeah, but how many feet fit like four or four, five people you in there? You think so? Because I'm seeing a fucking tent that can maybe fit two people, but I see five feet. Like, why do I see five, five feet? Five. Functionally, two. <laughs> five feet. Five. There are five. This is like feet. our second three footed person. So they're in the pit. They're probably like their, their peens are touching and everything. Here's hoping they said no homo. They're um, in the bull pit. And this bird is feeding uh the people some tomatoes it's like somebody in chat said yo it's like the bird is feeding the people instead of the other way around that's pretty deep if you think about it and then um some plant antics whoa hang out hang out hang out hang out all right so first of all bird hanging upside down you're a bird you're not a bat stupid you're not supposed to hang upside down what are you doing upside oh, down stupid oh my god Oh my god, have you, have you ever read Stella Luna? Why does that sound, okay, that's a children's book about a bat. Yes, about a fruit bat. Yes, and like, I have read that when, I, read when I was a kid. Gets lost, and then Stella Luna meets a family of birds, and so she starts hanging up, like, she's told that she has to stand upright on the branch, 
and then she's like, no, I can't do this, and so starts starts hanging upside down, and so then all the like the other birds start hanging upside down because they think it's fun and it is the most precious thing in the world, and I love Stella Luna. How Fuck do you, you remember a book? that you read when you were like four years old. Like I remember, I was lucky enough that I remembered it was a children's book that involved a bat. And you have- You would remember too if you read it. I definitely but did. I Cam Cold. <laughs> yes, uh, Ulrich, he actually like reverted back to his childhood for the moment that he was thinking about that. Like he forgot like yeah. how much life sucks for like the past fucking like 30 years or, or whatever. 30, <laughs> what you, how old do you think I am? You, 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 40, you know how 40, old I, you know, keep, keep it, keep it. 40? <laughs> I like, I like keeping my age on the down low just to get people's reaction. Yeah, like, but, how do you... yeah, but Fred, you ever cop some knee? Let me cop a oh, feel, yeah. me cop a feel that on that, knee. on that meniscus. Oh, you got that chunky meniscus on you. I don't, I don't. Oh, daddy like that, a thick meniscus. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the time my brother played Captain Falcon? Like the one time he played Captain Falcon in Melee? Uh, no, what? Well, why well, know because it involves was, the knee, obviously. He was, yeah, he was playing, like, he, he decided he was gonna play Captain Falcon and he would only use the knee. And he was <laughs> so fast and relentless with it. It's and the person he was playing against actually got, like, scared and started running around the field. As my, every time my brother used that move, he would yell, Knee! But it's actually viable. It's in, the, in, in, in that game, that 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 fucking it, that character is is, is is top tier in that game, I think. Kodo Ge Geasu. Yeah, but you could still feel the meniscus if you like put your finger between the kneecap, and like the rest oh, the rest no. of the knee, you could touch it. You could touch it. It's chunky. Oh, God, it's chunky. No. It's great. So the the same person who's grabbing the knee is using their other hand to. This looks like a fucking like a like a two person yoga stretch. They're using their other hand to uh, grab the person's hand because they're... What's is, what's going on there? What's the red shit? Is this like a cave painting? Like he's stopping him from painting on the wall? Is this some Burning Man shit on again? People do fucking like, like body paint and shit at Burning Man, right? I guess. And check out this guy. Hey, just making sure everybody's seeing my penis. <laughs> Do you see it? I feel like you might have not have not have seen it. You saw it. No, okay, I got okay, it. good. I got you want, it. You want, no, my, you want to see I, it again? I've, I've seen. No, you I. Sure? You know. Are you sure? You, know? you can see. All right, I'm gonna go back inside. I, just make it sure. All right, all right. I, I have a great I have a great mental image of it from the first twenty times. What about the person standing next to you? Did they see my penis? Ask them if, if they saw my I, penis yet. Hey, have you seen that? He says he's seen your penis. Yes. All right, just make it sharp. Sure. You're welcome. All right, so now we will move on to some stuff we haven't looked at yet. God, like, yeah, we're actually getting through this. We are. We are. Yeah. Do you think we could finish this painting tonight, realistically? I don't think so. At the pace that we're going, it feels like we can't. Problem is, we keep getting distracted by, like, Stella Luna, and that... Whatever that dude is writing, like, it's looking upward, and that is, the, that is the underside of a circumcised penis. Uh, how, how do you make that sound? How do you, how do you make that sound? Well, first you have to- Lamango says that's just a dog penis. First you have, you have to deep throat a bunch of- objects first you have to you have to loosen the trachea by working on yes you're getting it you have to deep throat if you don't deep throat you have no chance oh god you have to deep throat the spagot so this to me looks like a um a Paraceratherium, which is one of the Ark creatures that's like a big, stupid, like, I, I think it's a a kind of a, uh, like a prehistoric uh, or, or primitive horse? Static is in the chat. Static, what is it? A Paraceratherium is like an ancient horse or a rhinoceros or a hippopotamus. 
Um, but it kind of looks a lot like this. This guy's riding it. He's got a uh, he's got a cool. I don't know. I think it, it's like a take on the 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 thing that uh, the Klingons use to duel each other. It does have the toes. Batleth? The Paraceratherium is 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 a mammal. Yeah, it's a rhino, an ancient you rhino. Know, um, I I feel like I need to dispel this myth because like the Batleth is a weapon that was used scarcely. It was right in TNG. Like people always say, oh, the Batleth, like that that's the Klingon weapon. It's, it's only like, in like one episode, right? They both that, like no, it, it shows up a fair few times. It's just usually when they fight, they're using daggers. It's an Italian it's like it's Warf, saloon. Like, it, it's not like it's Worf's signature weapon. It's just a ceremonial weapon. Usually, they just use daggers. I think it's just like a nerd reference when you say Batleth. Yeah. This is a, a a goat unicorn. All right, interesting take. He's also got some some rad raspberries. Um, I'd like to take a uh, I'd like to take a nosh on them. They're pretty tasty looking. I'd like to take a bosh nosh. Hey. Uh, we got another deer here. Uh, he is uh, getting one of his antlers yanked on by one of these. Like, imagine you were watching The Shining, but instead of, like, the two fucking, like, ghost twins being like, come play with us, it was seven of them. No. That's what I'm seeing here. Seven identical annoying little bastards. Um, come and have it. Hollow fruit with us. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, this thing either is like a fucking classic No Man's Sky penis alien, or it is a paraceratherium that is looking directly up. Um, this part of the painting contains a lot of horse ass. Three, um, uh, distinctly no, the, colored no, horse that, that's asses. Just, no, look, look, that's ass ass. That, there, there is a donkey there. You there's think a donkey there, but how, there's a deer how so you there. think these are like really long boys? There's a llama there. You think these are long boys? Where's the llamas at? I, wait a minute. Where's the llamas at? The llama, you're talking about the goat unicorn? The the, the 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 goat unicorn, the goat acorn. Yeah, goat -acorn. where is its ass? Guntacorn. Where it, it just kind of stops halfway behind the penis horse. Yeah, he didn't feel See like that? finishing it. Um, I feel like that's a goof. Some spoon. It's a botch. He botched it. It's a bosh botch. Oh. There's oh. there's spoon bills that are right. riding. Bosh botch. Spoon bills riding a goat. Uh, joined by another Pokemans. Uh, there's some other critters here. We have a. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What are what are you? Now that's a griffin. Uh, but it's a unique take on a griffin, right? So the front half seems to be uh, something other than an eagle. I don't know what you'd call that. What kind? A chocobo? <laughs> it's a chocobo. It's, I actually really like that. That's super cool. Look at this griffin, um, guys. Have you have you seen the thing that was floating around? <laughs> that was like the ugh. what thing? Sorry. The 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 recursive centaur, where the. Uh, it has the back half, the back half of a horse, but the front half I, of a of a recursive centaur. I, I I think I did see that, <laughs> dude. Check it out. They caught this fucking. Sp it's a Pokemon. Spinachu. It's, a, in, in, it's just Pokemon. In a Pokeball, he's actually in a Pokeball. Oh, that's a blue hedgehog. I just yeah, that chat is, pointed out that's a, that's yep. a blue, that's a blue hedgehog. That is a blue. Motherfucking hedgehog. All right. Oh, you know, and you know what's happening. What? It's no use. It's no use. He is attempting to escape in vain, but it is in it. It, it, it is no use. It's no use. Take this. Ugh. You're not even good enough to be. I'll make you eat those words. yourself nope <laughs> <laughs> what that you want to hear that <laughs> you want to hear that god i like i you know i watched the entire game grumps playthrough of sonic 06 but i feel like i'm 
learning more about the game watching you play You it. think so? Are but you I'm enjoying the playthrough? Like, I'm enjoying yours more, in part because I feel like I'm learning more about how truly horrendous that game is. It's not even, like, it's bad, but even more so, it's sloppy and rushed. It's next level. It's next level, bed. It's next level, bed. It's, it's, I'm still constantly amazed at the problems that that fucking game has. I, I, even after all the hours I have in it. I'm, I'm still fucking just in shock night after night when I, when I fucking, when I stream it. I, I just, I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm not over it. I, I'm nowhere near being over it. I like how, by the way, yeah. us talking like this, this is just what it's like when we're hanging out. We talk about our feelings more and like life stuff. Well, we do, yeah. And but we, like, and we, and we flirt a lot more. But like, when <laughs> it's true. And talk, and we talk dirty a lot more, you know. But when we're live, we kind of do, you know, we do away with all that stuff. We try to keep it professional. Bosch predicted Don't fuck Bosch. Sonic, Fruit Zonas, and Rumpology. No, think, no, 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 Mike. This is even worse than you think it is. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Only Pokemon can be caught in Pokeballs. So, it can't this be Sonic has to be... It can't be Sonic the Hedgehog. It, do you know... Is think think about the hedgehog Pokemon you know, perhaps an electric hedgehog Pokemon. Pikachu is Sonic the Hedgehog. You're getting there. Oh my God! Like, what if they combined the two of them and made a new character and they called it Sonichu? So original, dude. You could make a web comic out of that. Bosch created Sonichu in 1490. <laughs> So if the reason a... the the reason that he was high all of the time is because Clyde Cash kept stealing his girlfriends, his <laughs> sweethearts. You know, man, if there's a Sonic the Hedgehog, it only stands to reason that there's a Robotnik somewhere in this painting, or maybe a Roboshnik. Do you think there's a Doctor Roboshnik somewhere? In this How painting? do you keep doing this? We have to. Is this? Do you have a list? I think it's a mental disorder. <laughs> Is what I think, um, but I think um, we should all keep the our Bosch eyes sipital lobe, our eyes peeled. For Do you have a Bosch sipital lobe. <laughs> I have Boschulism. <laughs> I got it from eating all this weird hollow fruit. <laughs> I got a guy in the lake. Hey man, hey man, you want to buy some weed? <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't don't skip ahead. All right, if, I, if if I if I sell just five more dime bags, I can get to Burning Man. Is this the is this the one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bouncing their hack, was, their, bouncing was, their hacky sack on top of their head. I, yeah. How was Burning Man like the Bosch meme? I that think has come I don't out know, but I because this fucking look uh, be, be, because look at it. It's a giant fucking orgy of debauchery. It is debauchery. Burning Man. Debauchery. Oh. And I, by the way, that is how it is actually pronounced, debauchery. I, or it's, I think it's like somewhere in between. Debauchery. debauchery. No, I think you were right, actually. It's debauchery. debauchery. I can't think. <laughs> no, you were, you were right. You were right. Mine's funnier, though. Weed what wasn't legal in, in the Netherlands in 1490 Derby Pie, if that's where you're going it with wasn't, this. It wasn't illegal either. Okay, really good point. <laughs> that's a really good point, man. <laughs> so this fucking... Deer, he's got one antler that branches into into two. That's like the Grinch's dog. Um, we've got two people inside of a flower, um, stroking the stem. They're riding a white horse. That is one of the oh, four, that that perhaps, is the lion's balls. Perhaps one of the four people, uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse, right? The white one. Why? Uh, that de death rides the pale horse, or is that uh, conquer? Yeah. Um, no, oh. I, I, I think no. It's um, conquest, conquest. That's the, conquest bi in the binding the of horse? in the binding of Isaac. The conquest boss is is white, but but I think it was uh, pestilence that rides the pale horse. Pestilence is green. I I know, but are 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 you just talking binding of Isaac, or are you talking like biblically? Biblically. 
computer enhance. <laughs> Hakuna Natara. Fuck you. All right, this guy is attempting to snipe somebody with a barracuda. <laughs> a double barracuda shotgun. Oh, my God. Is Look at the face. Look at the face of that lion. You know, it's like that meme with that puppet. Where it's like the two, where the puppet looks at you, and then, like, like it's like, you know what I'm talking about? That weird... Does anybody know what the fuck that meme is from? Does what? anybody have any idea what I'm talking about? Lobster on the loose? The puppet? The shocked puppet? Oh, yeah. wait. Yes, yes, yes. I think I know what you're talking about. That meme. Can somebody... Do you think you could I find that? For you. you think you could find it for me? I couldn't. I don't know any of the word, keywords associated with it. But that, you, you know, that line didn't always have that shocked face. It only got that shocked face when you zoomed in on its testicles. <laughs> yeah. I'm responsible for this. It felt a tingle in its sack. <laughs> it just knew. You know how sometimes you can feel when someone's looking at you? <laughs> All right. There's a just special gonna, just version buy, just of that. Just gonna buy my own business here. Just gonna buy my there's own a, business. There's a special version of that for when someone is looking at your balls. <laughs> Look at that. He's going for the th the 360 no scope. He's gonna try to land that fish directly into the fish tube. And fuck 160 yards. Thump. Uh, there's some more uh, anus and and sack over here. I yeah, but that's a that's a unicat. So like, he's like, oh my god, that's oh, like geez, expected. all these all these buttholes and, and anuses. It's kind of overwhelming, uh, huh, guys? And uh, then, honestly, and like a cat shoving its disgusting butthole in your face is like part of the experience of owning a cat. Egg, that's true, isn't it? I like. See, here's the thing, right? I've never owned a cat. But I've had friends that have owned cats, and, like, the cat will put its butthole right in their face, and they'll just be completely unfazed. And I'll be like, you know, your your cat is, like, shoving its butthole in your face, and they're like, yeah, it does that. Yeah, I know. So, and, yeah, so what? Yeah, yeah, so what? Yeah. And that pig has blue balls. That's literally. Part, that's part of being a cat owner. That, it literally has blue balls. Guys, if his balls are all the way over here, right? Why is his penis like all the way over there? Like, look at the I look don't... at the distance. Is that is that how it's supposed to be? I don't think be? that's anatomical. I think this is another bosh botch, or it's a really long dong geometric star man. Is that how pigs work, Some Lamengo? Animals. You're Some a pig expert. Have huge dongs. It is anatomically correct. No, that's how it is. Says Pepperina. This is like how baboons have like blue asses. The spore has blue balls. <laughs> I mean, look at this fucking, like, this is a, uh, okay, so this is a horse cat unicorn, right, with like a reptile tail, and uh, there's some people, somebody is just chilling on top of this, they're like, oh my, oh, oh, I can't believe it, oh, I can't believe I'm so lucky to have this magical fucking creature as a friend, and it's just like, I never said we were friends, <laughs> what's this bitch on about, did I even give you I'm that right impression? Next to him. And it's wearing like right a like a habit. Like, is it a nun? Nun cat. And then next to it is I don't know, like a walrus horse unicorn. It, it's like a it's like a Studio Ghibli fur <laughs> horse, <laughs> like unicorn. And I, I got swear there another another heck and cool owl. owl. I swear to God, like a lot of this painting is just Bosch waking up in the morning and being and like walking up to this canvas or not the. Canvas? This is this is on wood, right? It is on wood, yeah. Yeah, it's on wood. And he's just like, what do I feel like painting today? You know what this is? This is just a Tumblr timeline in one big <laughs> triptych. <laughs> yeah. He wakes up, what do I feel like drawing today? I'll draw another owl. That sounds really fun. And then like, oh, that you're right. He would be a Tumblr user if he were like, alive he today. Absolutely would you be. were you were on but fucking he, Again, point. he would have been because he draws way too many female presenting nipples. Too many. Storks. You get banned off. We have a camel here. We have uh, some yeah, people. Uh, ooh. Ooh. 
reaching in and tickling that person's back. Look at the person's expression uh, who's cupped in that. He's like, woo -hoo -hoo. A little bit of a uh, prostate exam taking place, perhaps. His, w what person's asshole is halfway up their back? Um, mine is. Do you shit out of your spine? That explains a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we have a uh, another uh, depression cone, the depression dome. This is like one of those things. Um, have you ever been to a museum where there's a microphone above a screen? Like it, it sits above you and then they have the sort of dome that cups around it to direct the sound downward. Yeah. That's what they're in right now, but they haven't perfected the technology. Man, I'd really like to be in that dome. Maybe I could get some kind of idea of what the fuck is happening at any given point in this painting. You like that S, weirdo sheep? Finally rendered? It's all right. May I offer you uh, a, a spiked, a, a, extremely GMO heavy strawberry? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't eat fruit grown with genetically modified organisms. Are you sure? It's quite delicious. And it'll only give you eight different kinds of cancer. Just eight. Oh, I guess that is pretty good. Better than the 13 that I usually get. I know that's not how GMOs work. I'm I'm trying to, like, make jokes here, okay? Don't breathe down my neck unless you intend to do something about it afterwards, okay? Cal Dougal calls it the, the, big, the big Bosch Berry. The problem Bazinga! with GMOs... The problem with GMOs isn't the fruit themselves. It's the fact that they get sprayed with pesticides that they're genetically resistant to. Anyway, I actually like felt you breathing down my neck when you did that. Like I actually felt your fucking breath on the back of my neck. People, this is the beginning of my ASMR channel. <laughs> Oops, all bosh berries. Actually, there are more problems with GMOs, but there's that that's a whole other topic. Monsanto would like to know your location. Yeah, I know, right? Seal of Koala T says, I'm offended that you aren't mocking this woman's bald forehead. She's just got a big forehead. It's a five head. Naruto would call her billboard brow. <laughs> um, all right, Fred. Here's one for you. What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, I saw that at a sushi track recently. I'm sorry. <laughs> the sushi track? <laughs> That's a fucking sushi. <laughs> it's a man sushi. And there's men inside of it, and they all have chrome asses. Why do they have chrome asses? They're going to Valhalla, shiny and chrome. <laughs> it's a shiny and chrome, yeah. They have chrome fucking asses. Guys, you were supposed to do that fucking aerosol huff thing no, or no, no, orally, no, no. not anally. No, you, you know what they're doing? You know what they're doing? What are they doing? They're, they, they spray painted their asses so they can imprint them on a piece of paper and send it to the rumpologist. <laughs> they want to get like what? Like like sports game outcomes and shit? Yeah, exactly. All right, so everybody is like really laboring under um, carrying this fucking thing. Apparently this is really important that this d d abomination get somewhere that's not here. This guy's just making that that much more difficult. Like, is that really necessary, dude? You could like, like get off of there. And then that's um, the guy. No, that that that's the kid that gets assigned to your group in Boy Scouts when you're supposed to be doing shit, and he just faffs about because it's <laughs> you. He's he's the kid whose parents did not raise him right, and you can fucking tell his parents never asked anything of him. He never like. There's always always that kid in Boy Scouts. Yeah, the faffer. There's always a faffer. He just never does anything. He, like, everyone else is working on something. Like, he's just getting merit badges by osmosis because everyone else is doing the work. Queen of Waffles. Oh, says, I hated like, those kids. This is a allegory for capitalism? Do you, um, do you think that this is an allegory for capitalism, which didn't exist in 1490? I think it's an uh, allegory for rumpology. Yes, it's a shrimp cornucopia. Also, the, uh, the bear shows up again, this time with the little buddy. Very cute. Wait a minute, is that not, like, literally Banjo-Kazooie? It is. Bear and Bird. <laughs> it's the fucking... The original Banjo-Kazooie. 
Motherfucker. <laughs> what did this man not prophesize? What I did feel this like man not prophesize? Th this feels like this feels like those people that say there are tons of fulfilled prophecies in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Well, it's you know hindsight, right? You could okay, I could make this about anything. Uh, and I've got okay. So do it with this one, right? A bunch of naked people um, staring at their own penises while birds land on their asses and uh, you know pick. Um, shit nuggets out directly out of their assholes directly out of their assholes while um one guy in the middle one guy in the middle um is doing a split and there's a mermaid balancing on his his feet um what is this what did this prophesize um what if that event guy being... growing his fucking head out of his sternum look the dude that's peeking at the viewer his head yep. is growing out of his sternum. I thought he was just staring at his dong. Starbucks. He is. He is. With his eyes that are in his head that is growing out of his sternum. There's a hole in the log at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> this is the, the, the Starbucks logo people in chat are saying. Well, the, the mer, 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 oh, mer, right. mer, mer person, whatever. That's the Starbucks logo, right? Athelania says, have you guys ever heard of bird and sparrow economics? Because this is an allegory for that. Are you being serious? Bird and sparrow economics? Ho oh, oh, apparently horse it's and horse and sparrow economics. I was like, yeah, sparrow is... I'm about to do some research. And by research, I mean Googling. <laughs> uh, does it have anything to do with bird law, Demented Miss? Oh, it's trickle-down <laughs> uh, economics. All right. So the people on the bottom are waiting to get the wealth from the mermaid because theoretically yeah, the, the, the the wealth is going to trickle down to them. How do um how do how do penises and shit eating birds factor into trickle down economics though? I mean the people on the right are certainly considering that question. I'm eat that ass. Yeah, they're also very fucking confused by this. What they should be confused about is the man waving a fucking salamander banner in the back. Sala banner. And that thing's missing a leg. I think Platy Peck uh, had a go with this boy. It's point, not just frogs. Yeah, he just fucking it's loathes just amph amphibians. Amphibians. Amphibians, you're right. Yeah, he specifically. specifically fucking hates amphibians. Because frogs are not reptiles. Oh my god. Because yeah, you might yeah. get dicked. Over, bittersweet devil. That's why it's trickle-down economics. I think it's tickle-down economics, as in, like, you get your anus tickled down by a fucking crow's beak. By a rumpologist. By a rump These are all bird rumpologists. All right, here we go. Giant flower. Here, have a bird! No! Do I have to take it? I kind of don't really... I'm not really interested in a bird right now. Do I really gotta... It's kind of... Take it! You Take sound, the bird! Take the you fucking sound, bird! You sound exactly like Africa dudes right now. I don't know who that is. I'll show you yeah, after they, the stream's done. They crammed a lot of people into that flower, huh? They did. Just kind of All right. goes back Let's there. Let's check this there. out. Another fish. All right. Horse with a rat tail. Horse with no tail. And regular horse. Uh, there are three people astride these creatures. Uh -huh. The one on the right isn't a horse. Uh, the tail is, I think... Llama? Is that... No, there's something like that that has a tiny tail like that, and I'm not sure what. It's a tiny-tailed horse. That's not... No. All right. They're carrying... Oh, it could be a deer. Could they are a carrying deer. a a massive fish who is in the process of eating another fish, and there is a rabbit perched on top of the fish because... I think I think Bosch just kind of fucking wasn't done. Like this shit, you know, he should like, he should have stopped. He should actually he should have stopped. Th like here, but he didn't. <laughs> but he didn't. Whoop. But he didn't stop. All right, he made it all the way to this trio of people carrying a fish. 
What do you think it could it could possibly be a reference to? Three people carrying a giant fish, eating another fish, and there's a rabbit involved. It's a real rabbit on fish, eat fish on land, on top of dude's kind of world, Sam. You know what they say. You know what they say. And, okay, um, so, oh, the rap, you, you ready for this? Yeah, you, ready for this? Oh, you got a theory? I got a theory. The rabbit represents... The, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that thing I said I hate at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, what else we The rabbit yeah. Yeah. represents the working, like, the working class that doesn't understand the machinations of the state. And the fish eating the fish represents um, goods and services and those goods and services require other goods and services in order to exist, right? So, like, we, like, I'm going to buy a screen, but then, like, that comes from a factory, but then the materials for that factory have to come from mines and shit. So, like, that's the fish eating the fish. Um, and then that is all being propped up by, um, by the government, which is the three people sitting on the horse people. They're the ones that are trying to, like, keep all of that going. But the things that are actually moving, like, that, that are actually holding everything up. Like, those people think that they're the ones holding the fish up. But the people that are, the, the things that are really holding that up are, like, the mega rich capital, like, capitalists on the very bottom. Who are, like, supporting the entire thing. There you go! All right, now you just pulled uh -huh. all that out of your asshole, but Compl I there are did mo that most people sense? most people would hear it and be like, "That's definitely what's happening here," just because they didn't understand half of what you said. I don't understand half of what I said. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. All right, I know, so I right? quickly wanted to look at. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? No, we're not ready for that. We're not ready for that. <laughs> Are, are we? Re I mean, this looks like the fucking opening scene of Space Odyssey 2001. Mm -hmm. Right? Except instead of a monolith, they discovered a giant fucking blueberry, lumpy rock blueberry with fucking spikes coming out of it with birds inside of it. Oh my god. No, no, no. This is Violet Beauregard's final form. <laughs> the blueberry cake. They, like, 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 you know, you know how the face of Bo is, um,. Is just Captain Jack Harkness, but really, yes. really old. Yes, yes, yes. He's Violet Beauregard, just really, <laughs> really old. Yeah. The and the face of Beauregard. It's propped up by some pillars with fucking leaves on them. There are birds. There are fucking ball sacks up here with some very fucking interesting marbling on these sacks. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, that might mm -hmm. not be ball sacks. That might mm -hmm. just be my sack obsession. Somebody balancing a ball on their head. There is a ring with the person in it. Now now we're really getting Cirque du Soleil at, at this point. Um, how phallic is it? Not very, in my opinion. But uh, that's just one building down. All right. By the way, we're definitely going to have to continue this on another stream. We're four hours into Bosch. Are we four? Fuck. We're four hours into Bosch. All right, here's what I say we do. Here's what I say we do. We we did all of this. All right, let's get to everything below the river. We will finish everything below the river, and then the next stream we we do we'll do this like next week, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we will start at the river. We'll go through the river. We'll look at all these structures that are up in the top of the painting, and then we'll go to hell. Which I'm not even. I'm not even going over there. Not even. I'm not even go going over because you know what? Hell alone can fucking take four hours. Trust me. Trust yeah, me. Yeah. No. We'll we'll take our time with it. Um. So yeah, it's just a uh, parade of fun mm. critters. We got we got a pink. We got a pink bull. We got a hedge pig here. Oh my god! You you know what? Th no, we this shouldn't part... have to do that because hedgehog. It's already a hog. Go ahead, dude. Dude, th this this part is predicting the zoo race. I'm sorry, what zoo race? Have you not seen that game? It's a... It is an independent religious game that is a pile of horse did shit. Anything, I'll, I'll did anything to do with Noah's Ark? I'll, yes. Noah's there. Like... I'll, I'll link you the Cat Icarus video of it. Alright. Well, you know what? We may as well wrap it up now. 
Now might be a good time. Right yeah. after I gently and gingerly place a tomato on your S. It's so loving. What's putting it on? Wait a minute. Is that a hand attached to a fin? Um, what What do you mean I, I played it, boo? The zoo race? You're not Timmy talking... Timmy the cougar. You're, 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 you're not talking about fucking Paul Bird's wild animal racing. Zoo race. No, I don't remember. It sounds like the type of thing I would play during like a shovelware stream, yeah, but I don't, I don't remember. Timmy the cougar. Oh, shit. This looks like that... Okay, he didn't. This looks like that, uh... That famous Pink Floyd poster of all the girls' Mike. asses with the fucking album... The album covers painted on their backs. Mike, I am so sick of this forced diversity in my Renaissance paintings. Oh, you know what, man? You're you're right. What is it? <laughs> Why does there need to be, like, one black person there? They're shoving it down our Dude. throats! You shoving it down our throats. <laughs> well, okay, we get it. Black people can balance peacocks on their head. All right, all right, Hollywood, we get it. We get it, Hollywood. <laughs> what a fucking. <laughs> what a fucking outrageous painting. I I actually love this painting. I'm fucking obsessed with this. Fred. What the, what is that guy doing? He's doing No, you know what that guy's doing? He's practicing Yoda to, yoga Yoda. He's practicing mm. Yoda to suck his own mm. dick. Suck your own it's dick, like, you must. It's mm. like it's like hot yoga, but Remove it's Remove a rib, you will. Mm. Auto flame, that, you must. Oh, like that bird is like going deep in that dude's rectum. The guy was like, "Hey, uh, can you come over here and do me a favor?" All right, I'm going to try to suck my own dick. Uh, while I do that, I need you to ram that fucking beak that you got there as deep as you can into my butthole. Okay, thanks. <laughs> really be doing me a big solid, and I, I will I will owe you big time if you could do that for me. No, you know I, what it is? This is, a, this is a cancer bird. You know how some dogs can detect cancer? <laughs> this is a bird that can detect cancer by shoving its beak up your ass. It's like, brack. Rectal cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Unorthodox, but it works. <laughs> Bruh, your prostate's all kind of lumpy. <laughs> Bro, you can train these birds to do anything. They're very smart. I said prostrate instead of po prostate. You oh my, I said I almost said postrate. Postulate. They all knew what you meant. Post Possum large. All right, it's 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 midnight. Like, this is absurd. We have to stop. Guys, yeah. guys, I want to say thank you for coming to part one of Eraniminus Bosch's Garden of Earthly Delights. We, we came all the way back around. I'm going to continue to find ways to, to mispronounce this motherfucker's name the best <laughs> I can. We will continue it uh, at some point over this week or next week. Probably next week. Um... And, uh, guys, thank you uh, for hanging out with us. Uh, there were a number of you. Who, again, this was a very unorthodox kind of a stream. You know, I realized this was not something I'd ever done before. Um, I don't imagine there's many people doing whatever the hell we just did to, to, on Twitch. But I, 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 think it was, I think it was fun. I mean, I had fun. Fred, did you have fun? I had a fantastic time. Are you kidding me? Uh, and hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and we will. We will finish up the painting next week. Yeah, um, but we've got, thank we've you. got some. I, I'm looking at the hashtag Jabroni Mike art. There is some fantastic okay, shit in we'll here. We'll get to it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for again hanging out. Thank you for all the support with the bits, the subs, the resubs. I do appreciate it so much, guys. Um, if anybody is new to the channel, you can find me on social media. You can find me on YouTube. The links will be in the chat to all that stuff. Also, um, you can find my good buddy Fred on. Uh, Twitter and YouTube. Is there anything else you want to you want to plug? You got anything else you want to um you want to direct people to Fred, before we wrap? Uh, up? not really. How about a teaser? I'm talking with one of the people that's big in the Star Citizen community to get a stream going to check out where how far the games come. Oh, that sounds fun. He's good. He he's agreed to be my tour guide. That sounds fun. Star Citizen. He's, it's a lot. Yeah, there. I'm excited to check out how far the games come. Like there are planets in there now, dude. That's wild. They have planets. Like, uh, like, and they're 
um, they're one tenth the scale of real planets, which sounds small. It's not. It's not. It's not. Um, if you made art for the stream tonight, please tweet it at me with the hashtag JabroniMikeArt if you want us to look at it. Otherwise, we ain't going to see it. Right. Yep. Um, there, there's some great stuff. In there. You got some good stuff? All right. Oh, there, there's some really, there's some really good art in here. Let's see what Bosch has inspired here tonight. There's a great gif. Oh, there, no, there's some. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, see it? If I want to fucking put the gif, I have to fucking like go get like a Twitter video downloader and sit here and download the video. All right, so I'm gonna retweet this because this is or delightful. Um, or, or you can just do like a, um, uh. Like window capture and I, capture just a part of it. I don't like do, do, doing that shit because it fuck. I don't want people seeing my fucking like browser history and stuff because there's all kinds of you know um, stuff in there. You know what I mean? So I'd rather we just do it this way. I am currently okay. re retweeting the the, the gif. Um, did you, Sotokoma? You d you DM'd me a a file. There's some Shrek Yowie. Uh, you didn't. You didn't DM me any anything uh, on on Twitter, uh, Sodacom. I don't see any of that. Um, but it is a delightful gif of our two. Uh, wait, wait. Just kidding. Wait. Okay. No. Oh. No. 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 Wait. No. No. Wait. No. No. Up. No. Wait. Up. Wait. 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 Up. Wait. Wait. You sound like an Animal Crossing character right now. Wait, 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 wait. You said, no, you sound... No, see, you sounded like K.K. Slider when he's singing. No, he's going like... No, he goes like, Yup, yup, wait, wait, yup, yup, wait, wait, yo. What we're actually Yo, me, waiting wait, me, yeah, we. What we're actually waiting for here, folks, is the fucking paint.net image of Garden of Earthly Delights to to close. Because it's a it, huge it, file. It is a it is a massive fucking file and it needed to save because I wrote Resident Evil 8 on the giraffe's penis. You fucking left that. Yeah, yeah I left that. Um I shouldn't have left that. That was a that was a mistake. Uh, I regret this deeply at this point. Uh, ple please do this. Please do this. All right. Okay, it's closed. We're good. And now the GIF doesn't want to appear in, in, in OBS. Like, it doesn't want to... Oof. Oh, there it is. There's, like, eight of them now. Cool. There you go. We had names for them, but I don't, I don't remember what they are. I don't remember either. I don't remember what they are. Um, hold on, let me do this. Uh, I'd like to end this screen share, like so maybe, because I think it's hampering my fucking PC performance right now. <laughs> Thank you. You guys, <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm just looking at tuna newts. You see more. Oh yeah, dude. There, there's plenty in, under the hashtag Jabroni Mike Art. Uh, Forget yeah, Twitter, we just got another one. Twitter, Twitter closed it on me, so I have to like navigate back there now, and I'm getting like super frustrated. The way my computer is acting right now is like infuriating. Um, but yeah, those two. I'm sorry. What did you? What are the two characters from Hamlet? But Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. There they are, the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern of the Garden of Earthly Delights. I love it's like this. things are happening around them. Soda Coma, thank you so much for this. Uh, similarly, uh, from Lamango, he go. <laughs> <laughs> which one's Rosencrantz? Which one's Guildenstern? Uh, I'm gonna say Rosencrantz is the one on the left. Also from Lamango, it says Apple Dave and Banana Chad come out of retirement just to comment on the art. As you can see, we are art. Nah, man, it's the bro, Blueberry Howard. Lamango, please don't do this anymore. Like, I thought we, <laughs> we, we moved past this. Also from uh, Karma Elady, very confused frog. What? There he is. Uh, this this fucking was a very, very popular uh, art subject, this guy. 
uh, from Scroat Muncher or Vine Isle. It says, just one more. Yep. Is that the cock nest monster? Yep. Yep. Fucking. Did you use yeah, actual, like, watercolors for this? Or, or is this, um... It's digital. It's digital? Okay, I'm stupid. It's definitely digital. Thank you. But... Vine Isle, it's beautiful. Thank you. Um, from Tuna Newt. Holy shit. Here's a cartoony modern adaptation of Bosch's Garden of Earthly Delights <laughs> based on Fred and Mike's dream. About a, all about a frog and a rat thing trying to survive the weird-ass frat garden. <laughs> and they're both girls. They're both girls. This is fucking... D d we could, d there could be a cartoon based on this fucking painting. God, there could be. I, I love that they have... They included, like, the night fish... The f like okay, the, we got the, the mer people bullying the narwhal. The fucking DoorDash angel delivery guy. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking um the the weird cent centipede creature. Uh, there's <laughs> there they are. There they are. The top right. I love them so much. There they are. Uh, they're they're just trying to get through. I it, like man. how you gave them like fucking like Patrick Star pants. Like you gave the Patrick Star like shorts or bathing suit. <laughs> Uh, I love the jack. I, I love the I love the jackalope kangaroo. Whatever it is, the, we need to figure out what the that night, is. Here's the <laughs> the guy, the fucking like frat dude, like fucking stoner hippie asshole with the fucking the the uh, the beer the chugging the jug berry. and the duck with the berry. Um, there's the nar <laughs> the narwhal, the narwhal, Eve perhaps. Oh, uh, this is fucking great, Tuna New. Thank you so much for this. It's so good. I love it. Um, it's outstanding. Uh, from Jazz Jen, it says, Progress on the mask. Jen, that's so fucking cool. Really good work. And uh, a fantasy mic. And getting started on a fantasy Fred, too. You're going to get some uh, some fan art here. Fred? Oh, shit. What? Uh, finally, from Rouge105, it says, I didn't feel like uh, coloring the snackalope in grays and black, so I just left it in pencil so it could be seen better. There it is, the snackalope. Didn't color yeah. the rest because I'm tired. This stream was a joy to watch, and I can't wait to see part two. I'm so glad that it seems like the majority of you enjoyed it, because I had a great, yeah. a great fucking time doing this. And thank you so it much, was, Fred, it was for, quality. For, for joining me. Yeah, I had a good time. All right, guys, that's it. That's all we got here. Have an awesome night. I will be seeing you. Um, actually, tomorrow is not likely that I'll be streaming. Of course, I will let you know if I am uh, via Twitter. Um, but more likely, I'll be back Wednesday with um, probably uh, probably Sonic 06. Apologies in advance. Yeah. All right, guys. Have an awesome night. Lots of love. Bye, everyone. Oh.